who wants to play video games?
to be clear, I was grabbing Canada. I was not conquering. <laughs> but you know, I guess I guess it depends on uh what you would like your definition of grabbing to be. Hey, thank you for the plus ultra hydrate. Before I switch over, everyone take like at least like four or five good chugs of your water, okay? I'm doing it right now. I mean, you can't look at Canada and be like, damn, I wouldn't grab that, you know? Surely you gotta grab a little bit of Canada, right? Mooncom, thank you for the host. Thank you everyone who has hosted so far tonight. It's really nice of you. Um, hello. <laughs> um, <clears throat> don't, don't mind me, but I'm very much feeling myself tonight. I'm I'm very much feeling myself tonight. So don't 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 mind me with with you know all of this but <laughs> Dinah, how are you? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Um welcome in everyone. Let me welcome in as many people as I can. Welcome in Cassidy Lemtis Lemtis, congrats on first. Ains also congrats on first, a double first. We love to see it. Dragon, welcome in. Um me mo me um uh, beep boop beep. Uh punkish, I don't know if I already said hi to you, but hello. Uh 20 Mimi. Hello everyone. How are we feeling? Lex, hello, how are you? <laughs> Responsible to do my homework. Um, sounds good, Lex. Good luck with your homework. Good luck with your homework. I adore you. <laughs> <laughs> Dinah, yes. I'm so happy that you also feel the vibe that I was going for. I'm so happy you're you're picking up on this on the same energy. Thank you. Thank you, Lex. <laughs> Thank you, Lex. Happy gender. Hey, everyone. Happy happy gender. Um. Can we all say happy gender to each other? I hope everyone is having a happy gender. I almost said ginger. Ginger is good too, but you know, happy happy gender for the sake of today's uh, topic of discussion, you know? <laughs> a false start. No, we did not have a false start. No, we did not. Um, hey, yeah, have a good lurk. Happy gender. Hello, Galvin, how are you? Happy gender, feeling for gender. Exactly. Gander in the gender, exactly. As fuck today, oh my god, I'm so happy. On a scale of one to 10, how gender is everyone today? It doesn't matter from which side, which scale. Tell me about it. It was a gender day. I was too busy with my first day at work. Wait, 20, how was your first day of work? We we won't get super, super duper, we won't get super deep into it until uh, I say, how are you? And you know, small talk, small talk first. And then we yeah, ease into it, you know? Um, 69, good, good. Happy gender is a societal, but happy gender is a societal construct. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Ains. Thank you, and right back at you, right back at you. You know, gonna be lurking. Most of the stream sounds good, Calvin. No worries. Um, in the best way, good. I'm glad. Solid six on the gender today, good. Honestly, that's solid. Better than better than not, you know. Happy gender day. <laughs> you did absolutely nothing, like in a slash pause or like a slash neg situation. <laughs> Tell me about it. Honestly, I feel like sometimes whenever you have like a laid back job, it's good. But sometimes I get super like, I have to be doing something, you know. Hello, Seven. Welcome in. How are you? Happy gender. Happy gender day. Um, but I hope all of you had a, at least a decent day, you know. Um, I had a wild day <laughs> and a not so hot night. Uh, but you know, I'm feeling um a good bit better now i'm excited to be here i'm excited to be talking about this because it's something i'm very in interested in and very passionate about you know um but i'm feeling a lot better in this immediate moment but last night was not a very hot night for me uh you know sometimes sometimes you just gotta you, things just hit you all at once and that was me last night um and that's okay it's all part of this wonderful thing we call the human experience you know um but yeah, but I'm feeling good today. Pause. Okay, good, good, Twenty. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. 
Um, I talk it up to today. Um, did you chug your water in the pre-stream situation like I, I did? Um, thank you for the plus ultra hydrate, 20. Um, oh my god, enjoy your spaghetti, 7. Enjoy your spaghetti. Yum. I want some spaghetti. Um, but yeah. Digging your shirt, Camel Jack. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Honestly, okay, <clears throat> I've been sitting on this, this shirt. Um, I've, I thrifted this shirt, like, probably a month and a half ago, and I'm like, this is, this is my new special occasion shirt. This is my new special occasion th shirt. So I'm like, I have to, I have to wait to wear it for, like, a special occasion. <laughs> and this, this is what I deem a special occasion, okay? Be honored. <laughs> Gail Jack, how are you today? Thank you, Dinah. Yeah, I tried to say thank you, thank you. Yeah, I went, like... I like did a good bit more with my uh like makeup today and I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Thank you, Vesti. I use this like eyeshadow that obviously is like a brown like gold, but like the gold undertones are like kind of green, which you can't really pick up too too much, but it's really cool. I love this shade. Thank you. Thank you, Punkish. You're very sweet. Thank y'all. Y'all are sweet. Um <clears throat> I'm thinking to start the stream. We set some intentions. Thank you, Ninja. How are you? Welcome in. I'm thinking we set some intentions, uh, kind of like we've done in the past for streams, kind of similar to this. Um, but first, I want to take a sip of my Canada Dry. Welcome in, Persona. How are you? Oh my God. Jesus. Cheers. What is everyone sipping on tonight besides water? Cause y'all better be drinking water. Um, thank you, Lemtis. Uh, if any of y'all think of a question that you would like to ask throughout the night, or even there's a section on that form, if you would like to share something, like if something comes to mind, um, and maybe I'm in the middle of talking about something, but you want to make sure I talk about a specific topic, uh, please send it through that form, and I will look through them closer to the end. Um, but you know, sometimes I like to stay on topic and like especially if I'm like really deep into talking about something I don't want to get like super duper like I'm gonna try okay you know how I've been super duper scatterbrained lately I'm gonna really try hard tonight <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard tonight to keep my brain in line and uh try to like flow with the thoughts you know uh but yeah ask questions to that form if you would like to or share your own experience there's a section for both um, you have a Coca-Cola? Yum. I love a Coca-Cola. They're so good. Very gender. So very on brand for tonight. Thank you. No, honestly, I love this shirt. It feels so good. And like the colors are everything. I, should we, <clears throat> you want to see the, do you want to see the full fit? <clears throat> you want to see the full fit? Um, I'm going to turn up the music and mute. Persona, enjoy your look, my love. I said ignore my toes, but I forgot that I was I was muted. Ignore my toes though. Ignore my toes. Ignore them. The dogs are out tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Persona. Enjoy your lurk, love. <laughs> English art teacher vibes stop. Cause Mimi, you know that you know that trend that's going around TikTok right now? That's like what I would wear if I were your teacher for a week. Like that's kind of the vibe that I was thinking of whenever I was figuring out what I was gonna wear today. <laughs> Fashion, I'm loving it. Thank you, love. Yeah, I Mimi. Mean, no, literally, that's that's what I was like thinking whenever I was getting dressed today. I also changed outfits like three times because I, <laughs> I was like, how do I want to dress today? Because I was very much like I would love to embody both my feminine and my masculine side today. Because I was also just like generally feeling that, but also for the sake of the topic of the day, you know. And I feel like this does it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, I was thinking we could set some intentions to start the night and like intentions as well as like expectations. I know I've been talking about it, uh, yesterday and like a tiny little bit last week. Um, but for those of you who have not heard me talk about it, 
I would like to set some expectations for the conversation tonight um, and intentions. And I have a candle. I have a candle to light um, for, you know, I don't know. I just, it's like a, it's almost like a, uh, like a ritual for me at this point, whenever we have like more serious conversations or like if we have like a longer stream type beat, you know, candle deck, how are you? Um, but let's light this candle, okay? It's my, it's my lavender, lavender spa woodwick candle. I fucking love this thing. Here's, um, to manifesting good, positive energy tonight. Um, a lovely, beautiful, open conversation. And to hopefully learning more about not only each other, uh, but also just gender in general. And, um, you know, I hope to open some minds tonight, hopefully. I know, <laughs> I know that like within my community, I feel like I'm, I'm preaching to the choir sometimes, um, but I do still feel like um, I have a lot to learn. And um, I feel like there's always capacity to learn about yourself, about others, about societal constructs. Um, I also love what wood candles are so good. This is my first wood candle. Um, so with that, I would like to say that tonight um, is going to be like a little bit less like kind of formal than comparatively the Pride Month stream that I did. I'm um, talking about allies um, because I kind of want to put a lot less pressure on myself and anyone who has chosen to share with me today. Um, there are going to be other people sharing today and I'm really excited to have them. Um, and I kind of just want to speak from the heart and not really have like an outline and just kind of let the thoughts flow. Um, hi, Luna. Um, and I would like this to be a fully open conversation. Um, so yes, I will be speaking to y'all and like sharing my experience and my perspective with y'all, but I would also like to invite y'all if you feel comfortable, which this is a very safe space. Me and my moderators will protect you at all costs. Um, I invite y'all to ask questions. Um, and even if I don't know the answer, thank you. <laughs> if I don't know the answer, I'm sure someone in the community will have a perspective to share on that. Um, and um, even if it's not necessarily like a question, you can still submit a topic if you'd like me to touch on that. Um, but this is a fully open conversation and I would love for you all to partake if you would like, okay? Obviously no pressure. Um, and also know that this is a fully loving and caring environment, and I would love this to be a loving and caring uh, conversation. I do want to give a trigger warning to say that some things might be triggering in terms of, like, I guess, like, situations that people have gone through that have gotten them to the gender identity that they feel comfortable with today. You know, like some things, some of those things might be triggering. Um, and thank you, Let Lemtis. Um, if you need to take a break from this conversation at all tonight, please, please do so. Um, you know, you need to take care of yourself first, mentally, physically, spiritually, all that shit. Um, and we're here for you and we love you. Oh, and also another thing, if you are comfortable with your questions being not anonymous, I made the form so that people feel comfortable asking things anonymously, even though the form is moderated. Um, if you would like to just share it uh, in chat, you're welcome to. I would just ask you to please highlight your message because it'll make sure that uh, I for sure see it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Punkish. No worries. I appreciate you and love you very, very much. Luna, how are you today? Welcome in, love. Welcome in. Also, I apologize if my throat is a little like scratchy today. I spent a lot of time outside again today and my allergies are not having it. How are you today, Luna? Um, but yeah, I'll be sharing just kind of like my perspective and my experience with gender and coming into how I feel about gender today. Um, my perspective on gender like in general um, and some things that some of my personal like 
friends and people from the community have asked me before that I answered for them, like either in the Discord or through DMs, um, that I think would add value to a conversation today. And I'll share those, like, those topics generally here as well, um, obviously without naming names or anything, okay? Doug's hair, oh, Luna, I love that. What'd you do with her hair? Tell me about it. Um, also, uh, what pronouns are they using nowadays? Let me know. Um, Ruti helps with itchy throat. Oh, I have never tried that. Hi, Andy, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. And enjoyed it, thank you. Yeah, I had a little bit of a rough night, so I definitely like took it easy on myself today um, and spent some time like outside because the weather was so nice. The weather was so nice. Um, and I slept in. I slept in so much because I was up really late, not doing so well. They use any pronouns in it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Luna. Thank you. Braid extensions. Oh, I love that. Back from the depths of moving into my dorm. I hope it went well. Thank you, Seven. I'm absolutely feeling a good bit better now. I'm still feeling like a bit of like, like leftover anxiety, you know, but I'm feeling good. I'm like happy to be here. I'm like honestly so excited to talk about this because this is, for those of you who have been around like literally since the beginning, you know that this is something that has taken me a lot of time to like come into myself and like I'll talk about it, but um, uh, sounds good, Luna. Um, should we just, like, should we just, should we just, should we, should we just dive in there? Should we just, sorry, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit chaotic. Um, <laughs> should we just dive in there? Um, so, <clears throat> gender, right? Um, gender is such a silly thing that I think so many people hold so much, like, so much, so many, uh oh, um, so many people put so much power behind gender which can be a very good thing but it can also be a very dangerous thing that brings so much like danger and like hate so it's it's a silly thing that i feel like i have had such a roller coaster of a journey with like throughout my entire life and i it's still a journey to me and i'm still learning things about myself and about gender in general like so often um there's mercury in it right luna Mer or mercury do be in retrograde and i feel like that could be something that was contributing to me feeling not so hot lately um but to set the groundwork and again i feel like i'm preaching to the choir here but in case anyone is here who is not normally from my community gender is a construct um it is a human made construct that we like we organize people in and we have expectations and gender roles about and um it's simply a construct and you can give a construct as much power or as little power as you want it in my opinion um <laughs> not the microwave stop i that's so cursed i just had such a cursed image come into my head thank you mimi um but this is something that i have been kind of I don't even I don't even know where to start so should we throw it back to fucking birth should we should we throw it back to birth um so sex and gender right sex and gender are like two different things but they're they're dancing to the same the same song right um I believe it or not I was born um and raised as like a woman a girl feminine all of that, right? And I think I was thinking, reflecting a little bit before stream today about how whenever I started to question uh, like gender roles and stuff was about the same point in time whenever I started to question uh, my sexuality as well. So a lot of that, those two journeys went side by side for me in my life. Um, hi, Joey, how are you? Welcome in those two journeys went side by side in my life personally um as i started to question my sexuality i started to question at that point i didn't know that i was questioning my gender um i thought that i was just 
a more masculine girl. I thought I was a more tomboy girl and um, I thought that was as deep as it went, right? <clears throat> I love my stinkies in chat. Um, that's as, as deep as I thought that it went, right? Do be a pipeline. Stop. It do be. Seven. It literally do be. Um, and that's what I thought that I was ever since um, about fourth grade when it was whenever I started to like feel that way I start I like I gravitated towards wearing more boy clothes right basketball shorts um baggy t-shirts cargo pants <laughs> um those were like my comfort clothes um it made me feel more comfortable whenever I like and more muted tones too um I did not really like wearing pink I did not um like wearing like my hair a certain way i liked my hair to be more messy um i <laughs> this is when i should have known uh i hit puberty in fifth grade i was a very early bloomer right um i hit puberty in fifth grade and uh as some of the boys in my class started to like some of them started to hit puberty that early as well um they started to show deeper voices or like scratchy voices like you know their voices would crack every now and then and I like kind of subconsciously started to mimic that at that age I purposefully would try to make my voice a little deeper um to kind of like fit in more with them and I feel like at that point that might have been some sort of behavior of trying I don't I don't even know exactly how to define that kind of behavior but I was seeing the boys go through that kind of like um puberty and I was like surely I should be going through the same kind of puberty because I feel like I'm similar to them in a way you know like n I don't feel like I am the same as them but I relate to them in a certain way you know it's just comfy <laughs> Joey I feel that um but that was a thing and um I feel like oh gosh so um fifth grade that was when all that happened and um I you know I did not really feel super comfortable with my period as a lot of I feel like young girls do I feel like I tr I felt like I tried to hide it also it did not help that my <laughs> mom did not teach me a whole lot about anything <laughs> that did not really help um and um so anyways uh at the end of my fifth grade year into my sixth grade that summer we moved from hawaii to where i am now on the east coast of the u.s um yeah and uh that was a big change and i feel like that kind of like this whole time period for me from fifth grade into like early high school was just a big i mean even later a big confusing time in terms of sexuality gender who am i i am this brown girl from hawaii in this predominantly white conservative area in the south ish of the u.s and um it was a big fucking confusing time for me um so um that happened uh we moved here and it was the summer and i was going into sixth grade and i guess this was probably one of the first times that i felt extremely i don't know if i would consider it body dysmorphia um if someone wants to define body dysmorphia you're welcome to i don't really know like an exact definition of it or if this would be considered that but uh uh, that summer, um, well, previous to this summer, I had always worn boy shirt, board shorts, board shorts, uh, like swim shorts, swim trunks, and a t-shirt to go swimming, right? I never wore anything else. Um, I would just wear board shorts and a t-shirt to go swimming. That summer, for some reason, my mom decided it was a good time to 
leave a two-piece swimsuit on my bed for me to change into uh to go swimming with our neighbors um and when I walked into my room and I saw that I was like there's no f there's no way I'm wearing that um and I went to look for my board shorts to at least like put over the the two-piece like bottoms and she had gotten rid of all of my board shorts I might get emotional I'm sorry um fuck she had got rid of all yeah um which was like the first time that I was like this is weird this feels wrong why am I getting okay I'm already I'm already very emotional today so I apologize I'm probably gonna cry a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you it's okay Seven, thank you for being my mom. Thank you for being mom. Um, so that was the first time that I was like, that's, mm, that's kind of weird. Like, why, why, why is this something that she thinks I need, you know? Thank you for being mom. Thank you for crying with me, Joey. Thank you. Uh, yeah, agreed. But... That was not cool. And I remember like, I remember like looking at my body and being like, that's just like, that feels weird, you know? <laughs> Luna, I love you. Thank you. But that was like the really, like the first time that I really like stood in front of a mirror and was like, oh, this is like, I genuinely had the thought that like, I, this is so weird, like not weird, but like so interesting to like look back on and like think the things that I was thinking way back then and like come into like now, you know? I love the mod, that's so cute. Um. But I literally remember looking in the mirror and thinking, I wish I was a boy so I could just wear boy shorts. <laughs> so I could just wear board shorts and not have to wear a bikini. And I would look so cool as a boy. And um, I did not, yeah, I did not think anything of it back then. I just thought that surely this is maybe normal. <laughs> But I was very much like, I wish I did not have to wear this silly two-piece swimsuit. I don't want to show this type of skin. I feel uncomfortable. I remember putting on specifically the bikini bottoms and like looking at my tan line from the board shorts and I was like, I'm embarrassed. Like I am embarrassed to go outside right now in front of my neighbors who we just met because we just moved here. I'm embarrassed that I have this tan line because I guess everyone who lives in this area, they don't wear board shorts. Uh, all the girls don't wear board shorts, so I guess it's weird that I'm wearing board shorts and... Thank you for the TW, Punkish. I'm not gonna read it out loud. Thank you, Punkish. Okay, so I would say that, like, what I was personally experiencing was probably not body dysmorphia. I think I was just uncomfortable in my body because I did not feel like my body needed correction. I just felt extremely uncomfortable looking at myself and, like, I guess just kind of wishing that I was wishing that it was different, but I wasn't really like this needs correction type of thing. But also, I am reflecting on this relatively, like, I've reflected on this before, but this is also, like, I haven't really sat with it a whole lot, so could be different. Let me be a little guy. Oh, Joey. Thank you, Ains. I appreciate that. Oh, Luna, I love that. Mode, mod. Mod, I love that. Or uh, depending on source, that's true, Punkish. Thank you for sharing that. That's the term. Thank you. 
dysphoria <gasps> you're right i that that term escaped my brain thank you luna gender dysphoria so i guess that was my first experience with gender dysphoria um but fast forward from that um i um i should say like growing up i kind of like i said i from like middle school on i was in the school system that was very like not uh just like there was not a lot of diversity <laughs> i was one of the only brown people in uh specifically my high school um i for those of you who don't know i am half filipino um half like italian white mix um and um it was just i that was one thing and then also growing up and not having really anyone who was openly queer or um gender non-conforming in my area was kind of difficult and i didn't really have anyone to like show me or tell me that um you know what you're feeling and experiencing is you know very unique but it's okay and it's okay to be different. I did not have that. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Dragon. Let's take a deep breath and hydrate. Let's breathe out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. But anyways, um, I played sports a lot through um, middle school and high school. I mainly played volleyball. Thank you, Lemtis. Yeah, if anyone has anything to ask or would like to make sure I touch on a topic, make sure to submit it through there. Um, and <laughs> my closest friend, whenever we first moved here, um, he um, is a dude. <laughs> And we were so close because our parents knew each other and our parents were always hanging out. So we were always hanging out. And he was super into football. Um, and um, our group of friends were all boys um, growing up. Like our friend group, all boys, except for me. Um, and I loved it. Um, again, at this point, I just thought I was a tomboy. Um, <laughs> I just thought that I was a silly little tomboy <laughs> and um I one thing that really frustrated me with um like school systems uh was um you know my best friend Sean um oh thank you Krugan I appreciate that lots of love to you um my best friend sean and all of my guy friends um i should say i also had a really close girlfriend okay um but my best friend and all of my guy friends they loved football right um and they played football and i was like i would love to be included on this sport that they love so much um and we would like throw the football and stuff like after school or whenever we would hang out. Um, there was like four of us, including myself that like we were or five actually that were like really close. And um, I had the idea that, you know, why not this year uh, instead of volleyball? Why don't I um, try out for football? I love you, Punkish. Thank you for sharing that. Hi, Coffee, my love. How are you? Um, I thought, what a great idea it would be to try out for football. <laughs> um, and obviously, I don't know how it is, how the school systems and like sports are around y'all, but that did not go very well for me. Um, I, well, first of all, I asked my mom about it and she practically laughed at me. Um, and <laughs> I mean, granted, I am a 5'1 scrawny child girl um, at this point. And um, I was like, I could still be the kicker or something, you know? 
I had played soccer at some point previous to this. I was like, surely I could be like the kicker or like, even if I just rode the bench, I think it would be cool to be on the football team with my friends, you know? Um, but my mom practically laughed at me. Um, and I was turned down from tryouts. I didn't have any, I didn't have any like football equipment. And like, that was one reason why they like, I guess kind of were like, no, but also like, I don't, they didn't, like, they obviously didn't expli explicitly say girls cannot try out for football, but it felt like they were saying that without saying it, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Luna. <laughs> if you will. Yes, a nice civil conversation between parents. Exactly. <laughs> um, so that was the first time that I was kind of like, okay, there is a huge separation in terms of sports. Like I, because I am a girl, I cannot try out for football. And that kind of was like weird to me. And I was like, why, what do you mean? Like, why can't I, why can't, why can't I? I was, I was, I wasn't really angry. I feel like I was more frustrated at, at that point. And I was like, uh, okay, like kind of weird, but whatever. And kind of, while we're on the topic of sports kind of like and I feel like this stereotype is still very much put on male cheerleaders um both of my younger sisters did cheerleading and still do cheer cheerleading throughout their entire like sports careers um and I have seen like men and boys go into cheerleading with my sisters and I have heard firsthand like parents of like the cheerleaders like talk behind the the boys backs and the boys parents backs about how like slurs basically uh f word slur uh about the boys who go into cheerleading um just like very fucking homophobic shit about boys who do cheerleading um and whenever I heard that, I, it would break my fucking heart. And like, I, at this point, I was probably in high school whenever my sisters started to do cheerleading in middle school. And then whenever I was in college and my sisters were in high school, I would hear it still throughout there. Like cheerleading, like cheer moms are also just like a whole nother fucking breed. <laughs> a whole nother breed. Oh, yeah. um, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Um, and I just like honestly I think that was my first time hearing those types of slurs now that I think about it I think that was my first time hearing those slurs and I was like why what is that what, what is what is so negative about that <laughs> it's better just a bunch of gay people and allies <laughs> ally yeah um hi rat how are you we're talking about gender today welcome in then wonder why we cut them out after moving out. <laughs> Strife, exactly. I hope you're doing well, Strife. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. To meet girls. Oh my God. Good on you, Candlejack. Good on you. But yeah, any this this plays into gender rules where women and girls are supposed to do cheerleading and sewing and cooking and cleaning, and the men are supposed to do woodworking and uh washing cars and fixing cars and uh going to businessman jobs hard shape thank you for the host i hope you're doing well these gender roles that are separated as soon as a boy crosses over into girl territory all of a sudden he's an f slur um or if a girl crosses into male territory male territory she's a lesbian slash derogatory in a derogatory way um or called worse things um but thank you uh thank you jeff i appreciate it how are you okay well they probably shouldn't be cheerleading in the cafeteria in the first place but okay hello and hello hello and hi to you as well what happened to hello? What happened to hi? Hi, uh, Luna, thank you for the host. The way I just said hi to you, stop it. 
unpacking stream is said oh i feel like that's some time strife thank you cassidy uh and lemtis thank y'all thank you mods damn mods be flexing um but anyways um the whole football situation was something that i was like very taken aback by and i was like that's kind of weird um and then like kind of fast forward into high school i started to really like lean into my femininity and i started to own it a little bit more i was like damn these titties are fine um i love my body um i started to get really into well probably later in high school early high school was still like i'm very uncomfortable late high school into early college i started to be a lot more comfortable in my body for a few different reasons um i um was doing good um hello andrizzy how are you also i'll do a cheeky little rules for anyone who's new here rules of the community and the space please abide by them or get the fuck out um apology accepted please just read the room it's quite simple um so Thank you, Luna. I started to lean more into my femininity. I started loving my body after like really not loving my body for a while. And I won't get into that because that is a whole different, that is a whole different thing is learning to love your body and like self-harm and things like that. Um, but I don't want to, that's a whole nother conversation. Um, I started to feel more comfortable in my body and lean into my femininity. Um, and um, I think for a long time I didn't really question um, if I was perhaps not a woman. Scandalous, I know. Um, but I didn't really question it. Did someone just tip the mods? Stop it. Did someone just tip the mods? It might take a minute to come through. Candlejack, thank you for tipping the mods. Thank you for tipping the mods. Scandalous. So scandalous. Thank you so much for tipping the mods. If anyone is curious as to how to tip the mods, this is how. This is how. Every single dollar that is sent through PallyGG goes straight to my mods. Thank you so much for supporting the mods. Um, but, um... I don't think I really for a long time questioned if I was a perhaps not a woman whether what that meant to me I don't know yet um but I think a lot of stuff played into that I think one big thing that played into me not really questioning a whole lot was I was in a heterosexual like cisgender heterosexual relationship for a very long time um, for nearly six years. Um, so I think being in that kind of, I'm not going to put all the blame on that, obviously, but I think that played a big role in, I felt very comfortable being the girlfriend, you know, like I am the girlfriend <laughs> and towards, um, fast forward a little bit. I have always, well, I have always had a very like, distinct masculine side throughout my entire life i have always been very much aware of how i have a very strong masculine side as well as feminine side i definitely ha still have a feminine side but it's been very much a like duality you know um but towards the end of that relationship um i started streaming on twitch um, and, um, you know, I feel like with being on the internet, right, and, um, I, like, at this point, I'm, I'm very educated, um, in, like, queer things. I had already come into my queer identity, like, um, my pansexuality I had already came into while well, I was... I was identifying myself as bisexual at that point. I hadn't really leaned into pansexuality yet. Um, but I was very much aware of that. And then once I started educating myself more about, you know, queer spaces and stuff, um, the topic of gender started to catch my eye a little bit, as it does. Um, 
and I started, you know, like educating myself a lot more about things that I guess like I wasn't sure if I identified with, but I was just like educating myself and like throwing myself into like internet holes and like finding people who exist on the internet for me to look up to in queer spaces. Um, I got more like comfortable and like uh, knowledgeable about like the trans community um, and what it means to be trans and like all of the beautiful things that can come out of that and how it's not just limited to trans, like a man transitioning into a woman or a woman transitioning into a man. Trans identity is like a whole fucking spectrum as are so many things. Um, but I started to learn about that as I started to be on the internet more. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to get emotional here at some point, but I think um, I've talked about it here a little bit before, but I think genuinely streaming and creating a space where obviously I feel comfortable because it's my space, but where there are so many uh, amazing people who are comfortable sharing who they are with me and um i think we have such a good like diversity in this community and i'm so happy to have that and i'm so grateful and i'm so proud um but genuinely i have learned so much from so many of y'all in terms of like how to be confident in yourself and how to explore pieces of myself that i was not super duper comfortable with previously um and i'm forever grateful for that Oh, thank you, Punkish. Thank you. Um, and thank you, Lemtis. But <sighs> by a pen, can we touch on that? Yeah, absolutely, Strife. Um, so to me, I will also also say that definitions can be different from person to person, from bisexual person to bisexual person, from pansexual person to pansexual person. Definitions can vary, but for me bisexuality means um i am only or i am not bisexuality for me <laughs> means that i am attracted to more than one gender right so for me back then when i was identifying as bisexual i was like i am attracted to not only men i am also attracted to women and and bees um coming into my pansexuality my the way I identify with pansexuality is um, I am attracted to people and it does not matter what their gender is. I don't care what their gender is. Um, and speaking of sexuality, I also identify as dem demisexual. So I don't care what their gender is um, as long as there is some sort of like emotional connection. That is, that's my sexual identity um identity identity joey only good tears exactly exactly punkish but yeah um i feel like so many people in my community especially those of you who have been here since the fucking beginning so many of you have inspired me to like explore myself and um <gasps> Happy one year, Commander! I love you! Happy one year, my love. Stop it! Sab, thank you for the nine months! Wow! Speaking of been people who have been here for a long time, are you kidding? Thank y'all, thank y'all for the resubs. I love y'all. Oh my god, stop it, Nikki! I adore you! I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the one year. I adore you! Oh my god. But yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, um, you already know this, but Luna, I'm looking at you. Um, you were probably one of the people in the very beginning that was, like, willing to teach me about what non-binary means. And, um... Sab, thank you for the gifted sub. And Krogan, thank you for the gifted sub. Or not the gifted sub! 
Kurgan, thank you for the two months. Told me default to babe, sweetie, and honey. Stop. <laughs> Google needs to educate themselves. Thank y'all for the hype train. NB means non-binary human being. Is that really what Google says? Hold on. You might have spelled it wrong. This is how you spell NB. NB. Or also just NB. That is so funny that Google said that. Um, thank you for sending hype chain. Thank you for the subs and, and, and resubs. Um, Luna, thank you for the 100 bits. Depending on what level of hype chain we end up at, I'm going to put little, little sprouts around my setup. Um, but Luna, genuinely, you were one of the first people in my community that had the patience to like teach me what non-binary means and you were and still are genuinely thank you for the 500 bits copy honestly like someone that i look up to so much for, for so many reasons um i'm not gonna stop luna i look up to you for so many reasons and i'm so grateful for you but you were one of the first people that like opened my mind to this kind of stuff you taught me about this kind of stuff you had patience and love and luna is absolutely amazing they absolutely are um but people like you and other people in the community who identify as non-binary um or anything on the gender spectrum that's you know not cisgender y'all made me feel comfortable even here's okay here's the thing that i struggled with for a long time i am here creating this space and i constantly encourage y'all to explore yourself and i constantly encourage y'all to be the truest version of yourself that you can be but whenever i was preaching that months to a year ago i was scared myself to i'm gonna cry i was scared myself to do that But I wanted y'all to do it so much. And I like thought to myself, like one day I literally remember thinking to myself, why am I making this space for people to be their truest version of themselves if I can't be the truest version of myself, you know? Daisy, happy to have you here, love. How are you? Thank you for the hugs. I definitely missed a message. Give me a sec. Mm, gotcha, punkish. Gotcha. Yeah, literally, one thing I've said before about, like, um, uh, like, titles or, like, identities and stuff and, like, you know, uh, what's the word? Like, uh, just how people identify, like, putting words to how you identify can, like, bring you so much power um and happiness but also so many of these things are so fluid like sexuality like gender they're so fluid and if putting a title on yourself makes you feel anxiety or makes you feel pressure you do not have to that's something i have to remind myself too in terms of like not only gender but also sexuality like if i feel like one word doesn't necessarily fully fit me one day hey it's okay to not really own that word that day you know like words are just words <laughs> thank you for redeeming take a deep breath let's do that let's breathe out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth thank you love i'm scrolling up thank y'all oh good luck with studying daisy yeah, I'm literally so proud of all of y'all. Every single goddamn day. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. That means so much. Thank you, Punkish. And Cassidy. God damn it. Thank you, Joey. Literally, and I remember the first time. Okay, so a lot of y'all know, but I went through a pipeline of she, her, she her to she her they to she they to they she or er, to they she 
to they them she to now they them thank y'all for the hype train i really appreciate it thank you i'm gonna put a little sprout over here thank y'all for the hype train i really appreciate the support um and that's another thing that i felt oh my god i felt so much pressure whenever i was exploring that for no reason and like i feel like i am for those of you who don't know i'm someone who has struggled with and still struggles with anxiety um and you know trauma um of many flavors uh but i feel like anxiety just like gets so in your head about like what if this actually isn't the right thing how embarrassing would it be if you went this way and then ended up going that way and like um just so many intrusive thoughts with that that held me back for so long in terms of like exploring that um and at this point i'm just grateful that i tried it to begin with because i don't know it's just wild to think of if i didn't you know thank you andy thank you for saying that thank you for the hugs commander exactly thank you my brain said time for tears <laughs> here come the waterworks <laughs> thank you luna i love you um and thank you for the hugs but yeah and i feel like now i definitely like feel <sighs> I feel more than ever now that gender is such a fluid thing and like something that I have let go is that was really hard for me to let go. Um, I cannot control other people's perspectives of me. Um, and that goes with so many things, whether it be how people perceive my gender or lack thereof or how people perceive my sexuality or how people perceive uh, my relationships or how people perceive me online just in general. I cannot control people's perspectives of me. Um, so if, if someone like misgenders me online, I still like, still, it still hurts. Don't get me wrong, but I have been trying this is something i'm constantly like still working on i'm trying to like let go of like yes i can correct them um but if they're like a troll or like a uh just like a nobody <laughs> commenting on my stuff like mean things like i can just delete the comment and move on but i'm trying not to give that as much power as like i used to because i it used to literally chip away at my soul whenever someone would misgender me and it hurt like it, it still hurts but not that bad but that's something i'm trying to learn is like i cannot control how people perceive me and like i can put myself out there as much as i want but some people are still gonna look at me and think that's a girl <laughs> you know and i'm not here to prove anyone anything i'm not here to prove to you that i'm not a girl i'm not a woman i'm not here to prove that uh i can be super androgynous like i i do not exist to uh be your person <laughs> uh like i don't i don't exist in in that capacity um and literally the only thing that matters is how i feel within myself and within my body and within my brain and within my heart and within my soul um and i'm i've been working on trying to fully feel that you know right krugan Thank you, Kurgan. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, it's definitely a journey that I feel like I am still on, baby. Like, it, we are on it. We are in it, you know? We are fully in it. Uh. <gasps> Excuse me. Thank you for saying that, Joey. Yeah, you do not have to experience dysphoria or want to change your body to be trans. 
um gender not conforming gender fucked <laughs> literally i that's so true and like just another thing I, I said at the beginning but i'm saying it again now like i am sharing my experience and i'm not i'm sharing my experience and my perspectives and i'm not trying to like I'm not trying to like shove it down anyone's throat. I'm just kind of sharing, you know, and trying to open people's mind. Mm hmm. Absolutely, Joey. Thank you for saying that. From now on, right? <laughs> yes, uh, it is I. Um, Paya, they, them pronouns, uh, gender fucked, uh, pansexual. Uh, mm hmm. Yep. <clears throat> mm hmm. <laughs> I agree and I feel like something that I try to remind myself to is <sighs> grand sc scheme of literally everything timeline of the goddamn world and human civilization right thank you for highlighting that Lemtis everyone read that entirety of human existence right um history repeats itself okay back in the fucking uh like way back like thousands of years ago there were people who like like people who were like intersex were looked at, at as like fucking gods and like they were like worshipped basically and like gender was so fluid and like nobody really cared if men slept with men women slept with women like it Gender fuckery has been around for centuries. Like this is, this is, I, uh, this is not like new. This is not a new concept. This is something that um, as history repeats, we have to, I guess, like as a human society need to relearn and readjust to with the times and with like society and stuff. But this is, I feel like the the thing the people that make me the most mad are the people who are like very close-minded to it and being like this was never a thing when I was growing up and I'm like mm, okay that's interesting even though it wasn't a thing whenever you weren't growing up this has been a thing with humans forever forever thank you coffee <laughs> I need more chapstick. Every generation or two. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, I agree, Commander. <sighs> Making God non-binary. Imagine a non-binary God. Imagine that. Yeah. I don't want to get super into religion, but I feel like I fully feel that. <laughs> My experience. Exactly. And like, I feel like one of my biggest things is like, what if the tables were turned, right? What if the tables were, were turned? What if I had to ask you, I have never been asked this, but what if I had to ask you like, hey, what's in your pants? What's in your pants? Hmm? What were you born as? Hmm? Um. Let me see that birth certificate. What goes on in your bedroom? Like, it, it's so invasive. Um. Is it a <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Punkers. Yeah, I'm definitely not attacking any religions. I personally, I personally am not religious. I consider myself a spiritual person. I grew up in the Catholic church as well as the Christian church. So I do have a religious past, but I am not religious now. I'm not hating on any religions or mocking them. This is just my experience in my life, you know? <laughs> I don't make the rules. Oh, absolutely. There's like no question about it. Jesus was not white. <laughs> okay, anyways, yeah. <laughs> Jesus is fully a twink. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, hi, Coconut. How are you, love? Um, <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, also, I added my pronouns to my thing down here. I added my pronouns to my thing down here. <laughs> it's okay. I think that person was underage. Anyways. Thank you, Lemtis. Um, I'm glad you're good, Coconut. I'm doing really well today. Thank you for asking. I had a little bit of a rough night, but I'm feeling good now. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a little it looks a little cluttered down here, so I think at some point I'm gonna like clean it up a little bit or like change the fonts or something. But I added my pronouns down here. I already have them on on this one. I already have them like in my little in my little border, but I added them here. I don't know. I banned them as soon as I saw them misgendering me. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever. They're so cute. Thank you. Thank you, love. Um, gosh, I forget what I was saying. Oh, um. Do that out. Do it. Do it. Oh, I'm glad you've been interested, Rush these topics so thank you for mm. rush i appreciate you saying that thank you ha so happy to have you here and anyone else who is here like for the first time or you know who isn't around here normally um thank you commander yeah um that is an anonymous form it is moderated but if you would like to ask a specific question or let me know of a specific topic you would like me to talk about um, or even share some of your experience or perspective anonymously, you can do so through that form. And I'm going to be going through that a little bit later. Okay. Um, but if you want to ask a question not anonymously, you can do so in chat. Just make sure you highlight it so I can for sure see it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I last last little thing about religion and like specifically christianity is like they i don't know i have met christians who genuinely do mean good and like they the christians who do mean good do not use the bible for violence <laughs> they do not use the bible for violence um and we can live uh respectfully in each other's space and not judge each other um and the thing the the way that i know a, a christian is like a good christian is they will not try to shove their shit and their bible down my throat that's how i know they're a good christian <laughs> like if we can exist and still know that we're like we're both good human beings and we can still like conversate without the topic of jesus coming up and like you shoving it down my throat um i know you're a good person i know you're a good christian and like you can practice whatever religion you want to i'm gonna stay over here and be a non-religious spiritual bitch oh luna they're not ready for that they're not ready to hear that <laughs> um but yeah i feel like a lot of christians unfortunately will use the bible uh as a form as an excuse as an excuse to be hateful towards queer people towards people of color towards anyone who is different than them and it makes me fucking sick um but that was my last my last little note about religion uh. <sighs> Your own homes, you know. Oh my God, Luna's. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, the hypocrites agreed. <laughs> Are different. A lot of people don't. Coconut. A lot of people don't, unfortunately. And it makes me so sad. And this is one of the biggest reasons that I don't think I could ever have that conversation with my mom. Um, not only because I don't feel like I would be safe in that conversation, but, um, she is Christian and, um, she just, just basically, um, she basically whenever, like I, like growing up, whenever we were out as a family and she would see like a very clearly like trans person oh that's another conversation a very clearly like trans person out in public she would tell us to like look away type of thing 
so that is something that has like scarred me into believing that I will never be safe in that kind of conversation with my mom um whoa and another thing I, I'll read your message coffee I promise um one kind of step on my journey that I am currently mid step is um you know a lot of you know that I'm very comfortable with identifying as non-binary gender non-conforming um but something that I have been trying to de I'm gonna get emotional I'm trying to deconstruct in my brain is kind of what I talked about earlier um identifying as trans is something that can be scary for me um but that's also something that I identify with you know thank you commander and luna um but yeah that's a cheeky little step that i'm trying to take <laughs> and it's something that like it's so hard for a lot of people to wrap their brains around someone who is not necessarily female to male transitioning or male to female transitioning or really doing a whole lot of transitioning in general it's more so like i don't even know the words but y'all probably feel what i'm trying to say you know me scrolling up <sighs> thank you for the hug blink i adore you Thank y'all. Thank you. But yeah, I feel like the word trans and transgender growing up was something extremely taboo. And it's something that I'm trying to unlearn. Um, not for my wonderful, beautiful trans friends, but within myself. Within myself, I'm trying to break that down. Thank you, Joey and Commander. Um, I'm gonna scroll up to read your message, Coffee. Wow, Coffee. I love you. Um, but yeah, like, obviously not only transgender was like a taboo subject and word in my household, as were a lot of like queer things in general, but You okay, punk punkish? It's that simple. It really is. It really is. Love you too. Thank you, Persona. I adore you. Thank you for saying that. And like I said earlier, I feel like, yes, there's a lot of power in using titles to identify yourself. And I'm trying to remember, like, within myself, as I'm trying to deconstruct that word within myself, that even if I get through the point, if, even if I get to the point where I have fully deconstructed that word within myself, and I get to a point where, you know, it's deconstructed, but I realize that I actually don't identify with that then that's gonna be okay too. But at this point, right now, in this moment, I love you too, Deli. I feel the need to deconstruct it because I do feel like there's a part of me with that, that identifies with that. Thank you, Seven. Thank you, Blink. I appreciate you so much. It's okay, Ganeth. Welcome in. How are you? Oh my god, item high. I will personally not read it out loud in case it is triggering, item, if that is something you're worried about. Mm. 
Wow. I, oh my God, item. I can, I genuinely cannot imagine. Thank you for lurking, Coconut. I adore you. I love you so much. It really is. It really is. Item, I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for sharing. It's, I, I cannot imagine that item. But the part that, I'm not going to say it because it could definitely be triggering. The part that you put in parentheses, that's what these are called. Parentheses, that was something that I was kind of told to that trans people were confused <laughs> trans people which trans people are probably not any more confused than cisgender people just saying um <laughs> but uh anyways um like trans people are just confused they are i don't know another thing that i was told unfortunately was um people who identified as trans were probably drug addicts i don't know how those two decided to intertwine in my mother's teachings um <laughs> but she would always be like oh they're probably on the streets doing drugs and that's why they're confused about what's going on inside of them um which is obviously not true and it's so that saying that is that is such a hurtful thing to say <laughs> hi mumbo love you too thank you my friend i appreciate you but that was something i was told and among other things but i won't go into details about that uh and i like just so many things that were said in my household and like not only said but like actions like what i said earlier where my mom would make us look away if we saw like a trans person in public which this is a whole nother conversation, but like a trans person passing as the gender that they are transitioning into does not take away their validity or anything within them. But like my mom making us look away whenever we saw trans people or making us look away whenever we saw queer couples together, like those kinds of actions or even, even like, this is so upsetting, but like, you know, a lot of times, um, I'm very fortunate to where I like, I live away from my family and I did not come into my gender identity and even really my sexuality until I was out of my household. My sexuality a little bit earlier, but um, a lot of people who come into themselves at an early age, like under the age of 18 or even like while they're still living in their parents' household and if their parents do not agree with whatever they're coming into, sometimes they will get kicked out and um, be on the streets. And that is something that we were, I was exposed to at a young age where like we would see trans people on the streets and it it's so much, it's a lot to process, especially like at a young age whenever I was exposed to it. I'm gonna scroll up. I'm sorry I had a rough day, Ganeth. So happy to have you here as always. I'm hoping tomorrow's a better day for you. <gasps> Item, congrats on getting your booster. I hope you're feeling well. That's the sugar people are and also confused. Exactly. I'm confused about my gender. You're confused about your marriage. <laughs> it's all confusion, okay? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <clears throat> exactly punkish and that's something that i felt a lot like i said earlier since i was in a very cisgender heteronormative relationship for so long of my life i didn't really feel like questioning a lot within myself until the later years of the relationship thank you for saying that Mm. Yeah. I love that for you, Commander. I'm happy that you were able to, like, talk back to her. Because um, I was terrified to do that with my mom. <laughs> but my mom would literally do that, too. 
she would be like what what is wrong with this person what is wrong with this person who is on the street not even taking into account what could be going on at home what could be what could be their surrounding at home you know like what is wrong with this individual person Christian love. Oh, again, with you, right? Thank you for the hugs. Need to go to bed. Actually, Punkish, I hope you sleep so well. Thank you for being a part of this and everything. I adore you. Um. <clears throat> In front of me. I love that. Um, Okay. Phantom, thank you for the 10 months. Take up a lot of my time. Phantom, don't worry. I hope all is well with you. Best of luck with that. No, you you never need to apologize for not being present in my streams, okay? I know y'all have whole ass lives outside of here, okay? Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Love you so much, Punkish. Have a good night. Um, Hi, Shrug, how are you? Um. Okay, so I think I have said, wait, I actually took a few notes. Let me make sure I said all the things I wanted to say. I think, yeah, I think I did. Um, so that is my experience with gender. <laughs> um, if y'all have like any topics or like questions that you want to ask that are not anonymous, you're welcome to do so now. Otherwise, um... Science Baby J, thank you for gifting a sub to Shrug. I appreciate it. Thank you. <gasps> and thank you for gifting a sub to Item. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Literally so kind. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell, yeah? To friend. Oh, that's so kind of you. I appreciate it. And I hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you for the support. Thank you for listening in Lorcan Shrug. But yeah, if anyone wants to, um, one sec. Ooh, okay. If anyone wants to like, um, ask any public questions, you're welcome to, or like bring to light, like any topic, you're welcome to now. Otherwise I am going to get into sharing a submission from someone from the community. And then I will be getting into a call or individual calls with two of my wonderful friends, um, to talk more about the topic. Okay. Um, otherwise you can ask anonymously. Thank you, commander through that form. Okay. Uh, ham, I'm not going to read your message out loud, but I'm reading it now. I'm so sorry you went through that and are still going through that, Ham. Whatever you're feeling is entirely valid, okay? Lex, thank you for lurking. Um, I adore you. I hope studying has been well. <coughs> Item, don't you ever apologize. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder. How lucky men were to get to marry a woman. Oh my God, stop. And be presents, literally, no, seven. I look back on some things I used to think and say and do even that I was like, hmm, I should have known that I was just like a little bit queer back then, <laughs> but I surely didn't. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the two months. Thank you for the two months. Andy, my love, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Um. Thank you for the subs. But yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna pull up the submission. I'm gonna share it on my screen. So if y'all would like to read along, I know I'm personally someone who likes to read along, so I'm gonna try to set it up so that y'all can read along, you know what I'm saying? Um, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Oh, uh oh. Okay, there we go. Sassy, I love you too. I hope life starts to wind down for you or at least find some sort of um like ease on you. I hope you sleep well. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. I was queer and it took me way too long to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Same. Like literally there were so many times growing up, especially when I was like really, really young where I was like, I wish I was a boy. I wish I was a boy so that I could have a girlfriend. I wish I was a boy because I would look so hot as a boy. Oh my God. Hi Kyobi, how are you? I didn't miss much. It's okay, Kyobi, welcome in. And also anyone who like is having like FOMO or, or whatever, the VOD will exist on Twitch for two months and I will re be reposting this VOD on my YouTube. So don't worry, it'll exist online for you besties. Um. I'm so proud of you, Javen. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Literally, Joey. <laughs> yes, I, mean, I was like, damn, I wish I was a boy. So many times. Could be a handsome boy. I'm sure you could be, Lex. I'm sure. <laughs> Is that hi? Hello. If you're saying hi to me, Dinah. <laughs> so much. Literally. <laughs> um, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have um, two screenshots from a lovely person from the community that was submitted. Um, and I think it is okay if I share who it is. Um, feel free to DM me, cause I think you're listening. If it's okay for me to share, um, it is you and whatnot. But I will be reading it and I'm gonna share it on my screen so y'all can read along, okay? Um, so, um, the wonderful person who, okay, the wonderful person who shared their submission was the lovely Jojo Bunny, um, Joey, it's me, <laughs> Joey is an amazing human being and I'm very excited to share his experience with you, um, Joey, would you like to share, should we do a pronouns check? Let's do a pronouns check, let's do, let's do, a, <clears throat> let's do a cheeky little pronouns check, um, Share your pronouns in chat if you feel comfortable. This is a safe place to share new, or share, this is a safe place to share your pronouns. Um, this is a safe place to try new pronouns if you see fit. Um, don't share joking pronouns, we'll ban you, okay? My pronouns are they, them, what are yours? <laughs> he, him for Draven, she, they for Dinah, any for Andy, she, her for Persona, she, her for Coffee, he, they for Joey, she, her for Kyobi, any for Item. He, him, for shrug, they, them, for daisy, they, she, for seven, they, them, perhaps, perhaps, we can feel that out here if you would like seven, she, they, for Ains, uh, they, them, he, for Luna, she, they, for Lex, he, they, for Joey, I don't know if I, I read yours, he, they, for Joey, if I miss y'all's uh, pronouns and you'd like me to say them out loud, feel free to always paste them again, copy and paste them again, because I know having someone else, well, at least personally, having someone else read my pronouns out loud is very validating for me. So if I ever miss your pronouns, scream them at me. Um, <clears throat> she, they, for ham. She, her, for Cassidy. <laughs> Gender isn't real. Yeah, no, literally, we touched on this a little bit earlier, but oh my God, the way you present has nothing to do with how you identify. And I feel like so many people, so many people put so much like energy into forcing people into certain categories based on how they look <laughs> and it's so painful <laughs> like I posted a TikTok about this the other day about um you should follow my TikTok if you want I posted a TikTok of me crying last night <laughs> if you want to see that <laughs> um anyways um <laughs> uh I posted a TikTok about how like just because one day 
I'm feeling a lot more feminine doesn't mean that, you know, I'm comfortable with she, her pronouns. And like, sa same can be applied to literally everything. Just because a trans person looks a certain way, isn't passing in your eyes, doesn't take away any of their val validity. My own feelings got you, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. So how about asking? Right. Anyways. <laughs> Others oh, comfy. Right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be reading Joey's submission. I'm going to be sharing it on my screen so y'all can read, read along if you would like. Um, Joey uses he, they pronouns. Okay. Apologies if I stumble over any of my words. Here we go. My gender journey, like most, has been complicated. I feel as if I've always known that my gender assigned at birth didn't fit me, but I never knew why slash had the language for it until I turned 15 and found female to male transition vlogs on YouTube. We love YouTube. <clears throat> A few pieces of the puzzle started to fall into place, but I felt too scared to admit to myself that I felt more masculine or not like other girls. I'd get that little voice in the back of my head telling me, you know who you are. I'm far more comfortable in my gender now, knowing that it is possible to be feminine, to be masculine, to be a mix of both, but still feel like just a little guy. <clears throat> I'm not a man in the way society defines how a man should be, but I do get euphoria from holding myself in a more masculine way most of the time, adding some gender fuckery in here and there. Gender is art, is meant to be, meant to be deconstructed, is meant to be a patchwork of all things that bring you joy. <clears throat> your feelings about your gender can change day to day, minute to minute, and that's okay. You are a canvas to splash paint on, stick to random shit, stick random shit to, build and destroy how you see fit. P.S. Expression does not equal identity. You are the gender that you say you are. Period. I need a fucking claps one. Hold on. Where's my thing? Copy pasta. Period. <clears throat> turning my head. Kyobi, my love, if you have gears turning and you would like to ask questions, feel free, and anybody, feel free to do so through the form. Um, so I have a place to organize all the questions and answer them. Um, but also, if you have questions specific to Joey, I know that he is comfortable um, taking questions. So feel free to, to ask Joey questions if you would like to, okay? Um, feel free to. Thank you, Lemtis. <laughs> to read it again. I agree. Everyone read it. <laughs> Everyone read it. Everyone read it. <laughs> <laughs> um joey thank you for sharing this um i adore you and um i'm grateful that you felt comfortable enough to share your perspective and write up write, write me out a little a little something something to share um we love we love youtube for that we surely love youtube youtube did that <laughs> um but yeah thank you i love you thank you um but yeah gender is fully art i love i love this specifically the build and destroy part because like it and also like oh my god my brain is going everywhere gender Someone, I don't know if they are here right now. I, oh, dang, Punkish was here earlier. But two people that come to mind um, from the, or actually three people now that come to mind from my community that make me feel like this, that gender can truly change as much as minute to minute every day is Moonkip, Punkish, and Item. Y'all inspire me so much and make me feel so, like, comfortable and, like, 
<clears throat> I don't know. It just it just goes to show that like it's so it's so fluid to the point. It's a fucking it's a fucking you know, wait, what are those wave pool? It's like a fucking wave pool that's like constantly moving and like even if one day like for example i know um well actually i shouldn't speak for them but at one point someone uh was preferring like um to to say if they were identifying with he they or she more often but now they're like oh i prefer either um he or she and that's really fucking cool gender is a soup if gender was a soup what kind of soup would it be what do you what do you think what do you think gender soup would take? What what ingredients would gender soup comprise of? What would it? Um, alphabet <laughs> alphabet soup, except for it's just the the letters of like LGBTQI plus. <laughs> Chimkin noodle. Oh yes, good soup. <clears throat> But Joey, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing my love. If anyone, again, if anyone has any questions specific to Joey, please share um, in chat. Or if you have any general questions about anything here. Or anything you want to talk more about, honestly. Thank you, Joey. Honestly, YouTube was probably one of the first platforms that I also was like, exposed to like queer stuff and i love that um but yeah good soup good soup i'm closing out of it for now thank you joy my love um okay i'm thinking I'm thinking, my brain is thinking. Um, here's what I'm thinking, okay? Was a game changer, I freaking bet. I'm very proud of all of you as well. Um, I'm gonna take a cheeky little piss break. Cheeky little piss break. Um, if y'all need to go piss, please also go piss, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you chair time, and whenever I come back, I'm gonna get in call with, um, I'm gonna get in call with one person and then I have one more person after that to share their perspectives and their thoughts about this stuff. And then after I get out of calls with them, I am going to be going through the questions that were sent through the form, okay? Me pissing, good, yes. Don't hold your piss, y'all. I am very concerned. Don't hold your piss. Um, that is the form, thank you, Cassidy. That's the form if anyone has any questions that you would like to send anonymously, um, you can do that there. I'm gonna do a quick ad well, I'm pissing. Okay. Quick ad, perhaps, if it'll let me. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back.
Nice. Nice. Goodbye. Hi, I'm back. It's me, back. I fixed my eyelash, my eyelash was falling off. Are we surprised? No. Um. Did y'all also have a good piss? I assume we all pissed together. I assume we all pissed together, you know? <clears throat> thank you. Um, love your shirt, thank you. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. This is my special occasion shirt. This is my special occasion shirt. I wanna get some pants that like aren't jeans that go with it. So I can like wear it to like, <laughs> I was about to say wear it to more formal occasions. Where do I go? <laughs> Nowhere. Um, <laughs> but this would be cool like at a, like, I guess like at a concert would be cool. This like tucked into like black, like some sort of pants. Anyways, um, I hope y'all had a good piss if you pissed. Um, I'm about to get into call with one of my wonderful friends. And if my wonderful friend is listening, can you check? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I just saw that you responded to my message. Um, I'm gonna get into call with one of my wonderful friends um and i will let them uh introduce themselves hello swift welcome in how are you <laughs> um let me just hold on let me just make sure i have something visible Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi. How are you? I'm so great. Yeah? Yeah. I'm glad you are so great. Yeah, what um, can I help you with? Oh, I was wondering if you could, uh, well, first and foremost, I was wondering if you could introduce yourself. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my name is Dynamite Jones. My pronouns are she, they. I'm currently lighting several candles. Mm, what kind of candles you got, Bestie? Uh, pomegranate wine. <sighs> pumpkin pancakes. Oh, delicious. <laughs> and let's say cinnamon coffee cake. I feel like I could eat every single one of those. <laughs> okay, do it. <laughs> Are they vegan? <laughs> <laughs> Is wax vegan? Uh... Pfft. Soy candles, maybe? <laughs> um, this is... Like, not a beeswax? Premium, a premium marbled wax. There's no further information. You know what? I'll take the sign that is premium, and I would say it's good enough for my body, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah. It definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, Dinah. Yeah. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm so glad to be here. Um, so I don't know if you've been, you know, like, perhaps, like, mm, been to one of my streams before. <laughs> this is my first time. Hi, I'm new here. <laughs> Redeems, hi, I'm new here. Stop. Mm -hmm. Um, I, um, I don't know if you know this, but, you know, we're talking about gender tonight, and I know that, um, you have a lovely, wonderful experience with gender yeah it's so good i've loved every minute of it <laughs> Stop. um and i would love if you feel comfortable uh to share with the Bestie, people i had a gender crisis two hours ago <laughs> also yesterday and last week <laughs> we love a bit of a roller coaster a little oh, bit yeah, of it's a great. uh mm -hmm. it's yeah i What I what I want yes. <laughs> for my existence is yes. to be hear me out. This is what I know that I wish could have happened in my life. Uh Okay. Would to have been an 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 AFAB non binary person. Mm-hmm. And obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> Would you like to explain what that means in case anyone is yeah, unfamiliar? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So AFAB or AMAB is assigned female at birth or assigned male at birth. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, 
non-binary. So when you, you know, don't land on that gender binary, but you are somewhere in between or somewhere beyond or just somewhere else. Yeah. Nice. It's, uh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. English, English lit major. Wow. Just kidding. I was a theater major and I think we both Stop. Right. I knew um. that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you spelled it out very nicely. Um, so where, where does that leave you now? Well, um, I still would like to continue with the steps in my transition. Mm hmm Uh, like voice training and some good old fashioned estrogen. Hmm. But I also, so I feel like most of the people out there will get this because most of us are not from like just extremely accepting backgrounds or extremely demeaning backgrounds. Right. Most of us fall in the pit of ambivalence where the people around us don't care enough to do things right, but they also <laughs> aren't overtly bigoted. Yep. I can agree. So it's that intrinsic transphobia or bigotry. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where it really, I feel like that's where it hurts the most. Like my mother is open that she thinks this is a phase. Mother. That's painful. <laughs> I'm a little old for that phase. Mother. Yeah. My brain do be, do be pretty much developed at this point. I don't think it's a it's, uh, phase. Yeah, it's pretty much there. Um, yeah. But obviously that makes it harder to... Like, I don't really have people that I can practice speaking with voice training around. I can't do it at work because... <clears throat> everybody's just ambivalent about it yeah so there's not a lot of opportunity you're saying yeah. to have like that kind of support in your day-to-day -day life exactly also estrogen is expensive how expensive if is how expensive is it tell the people um, if you know i was looking up vials in a shortage also i was looking up vials and the ones that weren't available were 140 for low doses and i don't know what quantity of doses but like got you i can't afford that right now that's ex so, yeah i was about to say a shortage of estrogen yeah we're in an e shortage huh i i did not know that that's kind of that's kind of scary it's great i love it it's such a great time to transition <laughs> What a great time to transition. And then for testosterone, you need a prescription. You don't, Yeah, Joey I'm, says I'm, on T2. Yeah, I'm glad that you don't need a prescription for estrogen, but you need a prescription for testosterone, which is wild. Yeah, and I feel like that's just obviously another hurdle for people to jump over in terms of acquiring that... Uh, that <laughs> and finding a yeah. doctor that is comfortable with that <laughs> it's definitely like i have not been able to find and i live in like a city right and i have not really been able to find a gender therapist mm. i Hi, accept Tay, these you? estrogen donations <laughs> Yes. I accept. Thank you so much. Yes, let me just squeeze it out of my ovaries into a vial. Just come out That's of the That's how pores. it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's wild, though. Um, yeah. And for, like, hormone treatment like that for transitioning, about how often would you need to give yourself doses I am not sure. for something like that? I didn't make it that far because mm -hmm. I uh, fell into the shortage thing and then immediately after was told that it's probably just a phase and I backed off. Yeah. So I'm lighting another candle. We light another candle in solidarity. And surely we light another candle. Um, but it's... 
I know it's frequent enough. Yeah. I can look it up also, and I'm gonna. I feel like from the people that I see on TikTok, it's usually about once a week. I'm not sure how much. Um, tea is considered a controlled substance. What? Ooh, it's, uh, uh, it's once a day for three months to begin. Wow. What the fuck, Ains? That hurts my brain and my heart. <laughs> So, not only society, but also the medical field is against people who are trying to transition with uh, hormone treatment. Correct. Or even surgeries, I'm sure, as well. The system is absolutely not built in a way to support people who are not cisgendered. Yeah. That's for sure. I did not know all the all that about uh, testosterone and estrogen. Yeah, it's um, incredibly messed up. That is incredibly messed up. Um, and on this topic, I would just like to say it was said earlier, and I'll say it again. Uh, someone who is transitioning does not have to go through like hormone treatment or even surgeries to be, you know, whatever they are trying to be. It's just some people. Uh, that is what they want. And you know what? Anybody can do with their body what they want um, in terms of surgeries, in terms of hormones, in terms of, I don't know, abortions. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's... Oh, great damn, news, okay. I immediately forgot what I was going to say. Great news. <laughs> it's oh, you be like the, that sometimes. The somebody who was defining a woman was saying how it's it's someone who uh, they uh, you, it's a self-assigned title what is a self-assigned title of uh, being a woman mm -hmm. someone who genuinely feels that they are a woman and that's all you need that is all you need. You pick that shit. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can take it away from you. Nobody can give you any other different title. True. True. It's very <laughs> true. <laughs> um, can I ask, when did you start feeling these feelings about yourself that you uh, wanted that as your gender identity? <laughs> right after I came out as non-binary. <laughs> Tell the people about that. I know I, this. That I know this, but tell the people about uh, coming out as non-binary. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, the first time, it was easy to come out as non-binary to most of my friends. Okay. And then, um, I came out to my mother on accident. How so? Because I had my pronouns on my name tag at work. Okay. And I was usually very careful to take it off when she was in the store. Okay. Well, she left and I put it back on. And well. then I realized <laughs> that I needed to see if she got something. So I ran. I ran out to where she was and I did not take it back off. And did she. Oh, well. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Did she bring attention to it? Yes. But. Thank you, it Mary. was. Thank you, Cassidy. It was fine, you know? It was fine. It wasn't negative attention right. to it. It was an acknowledgement. It was... I'm pretty sure the almost exact phrase was, so is this what we're going by now? That's kind of slash derogatory. <laughs> A little bit, but I went with it. Lex, you get it? Really, Lex. Feel free to share. I was just about to say that. I'm curious um, now. If you feel comfortable, Lex, I would love to hear it. I'll just continue my story while you type it out. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. After a very long time. Like, after, it was several months after that happened, I mm -hmm. 
came out the same way that I came out as a uh, bi so long ago, which was on Facebook with a big post, and I was extremely nonchalant about it. I have so much respect for you on that. <laughs> if I had done it any other way, I would have had a panic attack. Yeah, honestly. Negan, thank you for the host. And Lex, that's wild. How it's did so how did scary, he react? Lex. <laughs> so that's, scary. It's terrifying. I feel that, obviously not to that extent, but I feel that kind of like if I were to ever show my mom or I have shown my sisters my Twitch and like some of my socials. And obviously my pronouns are in my like everywhere on my Twitch and like on every single one of my profiles. So like if I show whenever I showed my like profiles to, like my sisters, I'm comfortable with my sisters and they pretty much know almost the full extent. Um, I was like, mm, here's my thing. And like they were like, oh, cool. And they it's the same situation. They definitely saw it. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'm more comfortable talking with one sister about it than the other. Um, but it would be kind of like the same situation if I were to ever show my mom about it or if she would ever find my Twitch and things like that. But definitely not to like that yeah. extent of like them like in person, like immediately seeing it. Oh, yeah. I was looking for the post just now. Oh my God. Imagine you find it. My, I did. I found it almost oh. immediately. Would you like to share? Yeah, I my leading line was i forgot that i never actually came out as non-binary so yeah i'm non-binary <laughs> told, told them what my pronouns were told them what not to call me which my mother still calls me all those things and told me what to call me mm. but you know not very goes. successful not much success with the uh, the do's and don'ts not much success with the do's and don'ts dang that's my thing is like if you lay out pretty much exactly what you're comfortable with and not comfortable with and they still like after being educated about that don't do that that hurts but dang lex yes. i'm sorry i feel like avoiding talking about it hurts it's the worst really bad <laughs> yeah i would rather be just absolutely hate crime by them <laughs> pain i would feel more valid uh from either end of the spectrum than i do in the dead center of ambivalence yeah because it's almost like okay we're not talking about it but clearly there's tension in the air that you don't want to talk about it because one thing or another or we're avoiding a conversation which which will in inevitably be like a big argument type of thing yeah or you just refuse to learn. That too. Like when my mother references me uh, to the dogs, she always says brother. And she also uses he, him. No thanks, stop it. No thanks. I... So she did like initially when I accidentally came out to her, told me that she wants me to correct her. Okay. Um, except for we had a whole childhood of me asking her for help with math. Mm hmm And she would say, this is a 90 degree angle on a geometry proof because it looks like it. No, mother, I have to prove it. That's the point of a proof. And I would tell her that and she would yell at me. And then she so would say, So the communication is just not there. She would tell me mm -hmm. to ask for help. And I'm like, you yell at me when I ask you for help. So... Anyway, so you already had math like math story also translates to gender. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you already had that history of just not having the best communication with her and whenever you did actually ask for help it was not helpful. Exactly. Or so you were her. Yeah. So in the times well have you corrected her ever? Nope. That's fair. I and hate that. I my uh my father doesn't know somehow okay somehow we're not friends on facebook because i removed him because you know um, fair 
you, you know, middle-aged yeah. white suburban dads. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he, like, doesn't know. Yeah. So I've it's kind also... of like a... It's kind of like a don't ask, don't tell situation. Kind of. I've also, like... I have come out to my mother as trans. And how did that go? She said I figured... But slash pause, I, I no slash whatsoever. Just okay. Um, no tone. But like, if you figured, then why are you doing such a bad job? Yeah. <sighs> she did ask like if I wanted to be called she, and I said not right now, not, not in the my RL sphere. Mhm. Mm but, I don't know, I took that as a win. Yeah, that's fair. Negan, I love you so much. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Yeah. I hate that. Um, I get it, Negan. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and on the topic of coming out, I would like to say if you are not out to your parents um but you are in a situation where like if you were to come out to them you would be in danger of anything please don't please always put your safety first um and also um in my situation um i am not out to my mom um you definitely do not have to come out to anyone that you do not want to, that you do not feel comfortable with. Um, Marie, thank you for the 500 bits. I appreciate it. Um, you do not have to do any of that. Um, only if you're comfortable and only if you want to. Um, and only if you're sure you'll be safe after coming out to whoever. Because um, it can be dangerous. It can be so dangerous and it can be scary. <laughs> And, um, if anybody makes you feel like you have to come out, mm -hmm. um, that's a thumbs down. Agreed. Like, if um, somebody gives you an ultimatum. Yeah, ultimatums mm. are terrifying. Um, we can answer this together if you want, Dinah. Someone, welcome in. Blame Alex. Um, hello. How are you? I love answering questions. They have to ask, as a first-time chatter, do you support neo-pronouns? Neo-pronouns, yeah. I just looked it up, are a category of neologistic <laughs> neo English third-person pronouns beyond he she they one and it um if you would like to give an example uh blame alex you're welcome to like for example oh the google has some examples like zay zem there uh mm -hmm. z here here's i am ear those ones i would say um personally if it's like within that realm, I think there's nothing wrong with it. What I have seen on the interwebs that I do have a slight problem with, but I personally don't have a lot of experience with, is people, usually minors, which this is an 18 plus community, okay? Um, um, people will are starting to say, my pronouns are cat cats, dog dogs, butterfly, butterflies those are not pronouns those are nouns um oh, that's true. those are nouns um and at that point to me that gives the energy of nicknames those are nicknames um i don't think that those are pronouns uh and i feel like personally i don't know how other people feel um personally it almost comes off as mocking people um who actually use different pronouns than he him or she hers um it feels like they're mocking 
that situation. So if you're talking neo-pronouns like that, no, I do not support that. Um, but if you're talking about neo-pronouns in the terms of zay, zem, zer, um, and the other examples that Google gave, I'm, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Not a pronoun. Exactly, Luna. <laughs> exactly. But Alex, if you have any examples you would like to share, um, please share. Oh, you know, is there nice, Luna? Neos. <laughs> um, that's my two cents on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good answer. Hey, thanks. But yeah, I just... It feels slightly icky. My answer is just yes. Yes. They said that's understandable. I've just seen a lot of hate for neo pronouns as a whole. They, them, it makes me uncomfy because people have just been grouping everyone together who doesn't use she, her, he, him. Mm, that's oh, fun. that's fair. Yeah, I can see where that can be frustrating. I like it, it would be in my opinion closed-minded to think everyone who does not use she her or he him oh, only use yeah. they them i feel like that's a closed-minded uh thing so yeah it's also that whole uh it's like a really common i don't even know the word for it at this point but like when somebody doesn't fit into this box or this box and then society is like okay you're in this box then the non-binary box yeah <laughs> just because uh this plus this equals that sometimes does not mean it equals that for me right i got you alex yeah of course and thank you for the follow i appreciate it and i got you joey hi undead i hope you've been undead. well Hi and dead. Hi and dead. Um. <clears throat> um. I'm a woman. Exactly. Yeah. Presentation. Uh, does not define your gender, and your pronouns don't define your gender either. Mhm. Mm yeah, I feel that. Hi, beans. How are you? And not be a woman exactly no we were talking about that earlier with like gender roles and like how people present and honestly just in general the balance and the coexistence of like f feminine and masculine traits in people like believe it or not just because i'm presenting feminine one day does not make me a woman or just because i present masculine one day doesn't mean i use he him pronouns um but i feel you alex Oh, I'm sorry you're sick, Beans. I hope you get some rest whenever you do end up resting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, get well soon. So, Dinah. Me. Hi. Yes, Hello. you. Um, how, um, how do you feel like I'm trying to think of questions that you could answer that from your perspective that like I couldn't answer based on my perspective type thing. Hell yeah. Love it. <gasps> Excuse me. Um as someone in your position, um how do you best commute like how would you prefer people from the outside who maybe just met you? How do you prefer people to like um i guess communicate with you correctly in terms of pronouns in terms of like treating you like a woman or do you want to be treated like a traditional woman type of thing i do you do um but i feel like it is a good rule of thumb just if you don't know somebody like if somebody doesn't know me Mm -hmm. I don't want them to guess at my pronouns. Mm -hmm. I want them to uh, use they, them until they know. Yes. And then once they know, I want them, I need them to use the correct pronouns. Um, yes. Or I want them to ask. There's no shame in asking. The only reason people don't ask is because 
certain people have put a stigma on it. Yeah. And what is so, that stigma? It's the I mean it's the the hatred for trans people like yeah we've seen it in the news and on twitter yeah the assertion that there are no pronouns in the constitution um there are no pronouns <laughs> ever other than the first word and also a lot of other words um, <laughs> yeah. but these <laughs> transphobic cis people who just uh, assert they don't have any pronouns they're Oh, you're one of those people with pronouns. There was one tweet that said, if your boyfriend has he, him in his bio, he's not your boyfriend. He's your girlfriend. He's literally putting right there that his pronouns are he, him, so that you know. Right. Everybody has pronouns. Yeah. Unless you, you want me to refer to you by your name by all only the time. Name, which, hey, if that's what you want, that's valid. Yeah, but also the human language uh, has pronouns, believe it or not. It really does. It's a basic <laughs> facet of the English language. Um, yeah. They're at one of the places that I work, the haunt that I work at. Mm -hmm. um, management and most everybody uh, on our name tags have started writing our pronouns. That's for fantastic. For orientation and for things like that. And this one older judgmental lady. Okay. Um put it with several exclamation points and so we referred to her that way as it the whole yeah. day and she got pissed of course she did <laughs> maybe don't do that then maybe don't just try to mock yeah i feel like there's a special type of hatred in my heart for people who mock pronouns like that and you think you're doing something funny or you think you're doing something smart by doing what that lady did and it's like no we're actually really? going to refer to you with exactly you think you're being clever you think you're being clever this is not you're not being clever <laughs> you're not being smart sweetie <laughs> it's a joke <laughs> and throw it uh I was I was stuck between shove it up your ass and throw it in the garbage and I was gonna say throw it up your ass so throw it up your ass throw it up your ass exactly distort the attack helicopter yeah. is just wow so sun so funny I've never heard that before you're so funny yeah I love when people do that yeah it's it's annoying more than anything and like I don't know every, every... I you're right like sorry go ahead. No, you're good. I was just going to um, say... Mm? Yeah, no, you. You. you go. <laughs> you're good. I was just going to say that, like... I don't know. Whenever people are, like... I, like, give any pushback to sharing pronouns, it just... It, it's 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 frustrating more than anything for me. Like, I remember before I quit my corporate job, um, I... Well, I used to teach as a corporate job, um, and I mainly worked with uh, public in the with the public. Uh, so I worked with a lot of families and a lot of kids. Um, and one thing I would I like towards the end of my career there, one thing that they were starting to introduce in terms of like, um, Raya, thank you for the seven months love. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the support. Um, one thing that we started doing towards the end of my career was. Uh, what like what you said putting our pronouns on our name tags and at the beginning of each lesson uh, whenever we were introducing ourselves we would include our pronouns with introducing ourselves um thank you for the lurk Raya um and I remember this is back in the she her days um one of the first times I was doing that I was so nervous and um I remember like introducing myself and saying yes I use she her pronouns and then let, let's do the lesson type thing and I just remember people like looking at me a certain way like yeah duh she uses she her pronouns like why would she even have to uh say that type of energy you know um yeah, like, at that it's point not necessarily obvious it's, it's not necessarily obvious. And, like, I did work with people who used they-them pronouns. So it's like, 
just because what like like it, we need to normalize it um but it it just made me uncomfortable as someone at the time who was very much like outwardly presenting as a woman and I did identify as a woman back there and I used she her pronouns um at that point in time like even then sharing my pronouns I could feel the backlash onto someone like me and I'm like if I'm getting this backlash as someone like me I cannot imagine someone else who's in a different position than me you know yeah absolutely and I like I so badly want the people who make others feel that fear, panic, and anxiety, I want them to feel that. Like, I want right. them to go through it for five minutes. Yeah. Guaranteed See how uncomfortable they, they feel. They won't be able to handle it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I love that, Raya. And I feel like... <sighs> I am so used to it now that, like, it comes, like, so naturally to me. Um, and I, I just wish everyone else could get there and, like, get over their stubborn mindset and, like, get comfortable with that. Because it, it's, like, once you accept it, it's so, it's so much easier than you think. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hi, Killa. How are you, love? Welcome in. Hi, Killa. I love you. It's... wild how I forgot what the rest of my sentence Fuck. was. It's wild how I forgot. No, literally it. I, it, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, I had two different ones. One was, specifically I was thinking about the song Stick to the Status Quo from High School Musical. I was just singing it in my head. Um, yes. And so I was thinking about how there like wasn't representation for queer people at all like in media growing up type of thing yeah. yeah over the past very long time just recently in the scope of history have modern history have we gotten representation for just gay and bi people yeah and much more recently now we're getting representation for non-binary and trans people mm -hmm. positive representation right <laughs> um and i was also trying to think of when in history because intersex people and mm -hmm. trans people and non-binary people exist in history in distant and ancient history and yeah homosexuality exists both in history and in nature mm -hmm. like that one you know statement is true homosexuality exists in a lot of different species um but homophobia only exists in humans isn't that wild wild i was yeah. trying to think of when suddenly all of the queer people uh, suddenly were forced to not exist anymore, and it was probably definitely with the start of modern religion, but... Oh my god, surely. Surely yeah. those two things go hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And speaking of different things about gender in different species, uh, seahorses really said fuck gender roles. <laughs> Absolutely, they did. <laughs> With the male carrying the babies. <laughs> and uh, lots of types of fish. Mm -hmm. Like um, clownfish. Mm -hmm. They listen. The female is the alpha. And when the female dies, the male um, Same becomes... Way the female like that's, that's how it badass. works in in clownfish culture that's culture. some powerful it's shit science but it's culture no kidding it's culture now <laughs> it's clownfish culture it's clownfish messy. culture um mm -hmm. but for sure love this like this shit exists in nature 
Yeah. So it definitely can, does, and will exist. Yeah, what makes others now. believe that it wouldn't be applied to us as well? Because we are part of nature. We are nature. We sure are, no matter how much we try to kill it. <laughs> Literally. Um, I have a question from Draven. Is using the pronoun it okay if someone truly wants to identify as it in a non-joking manner? For example, someone close to me uses she, her, it, and they are not trying to use it in terms, uh, in that term disrespectfully. Um, <clears throat> I guess what I'm asking is, other than she, her, he, him, they, them, are there other acceptable pronouns that can be used? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And the um, reference the neo-pronouns question. Yes. Hell yeah, I love this. Hell yeah, Lemtis. Um, yeah. But yeah, I fully uh, agree with what Lemtis said. And um, if that is what they choose to identify with, and as long as they are, like, serious with it. And um, I know some, I feel like there could be some feelings of, like, it, it's, I use, uses pro pronouns could be dehumanizing. Um, but... As long as it is what the person themselves identifies with and like is comfortable with and is part of their identity, that's all that matters. And also, <laughs> Kayla. don't decide that something is dehumanizing for someone else. That part too, yeah. That oh, that goes for so many things too. Like the first, the first thing that comes to my mind is like sexualizing other people whenever they are not sexualizing themselves, or even if they are sexualizing themselves, that doesn't give you permission to sexualize them. Yeah. So same, 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 but different. But yeah. Um, yep, 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 yep. Um, our time is coming to a close. It happens. <laughs> It happens god it happens. damn it um thank you for being you thank you for being someone who inspires me um <laughs> <laughs> um uh is there anything you would like to say um that we maybe did not touch on that you would like to say real quick there's always Sometimes you just keep coming out over and over and over again. Yeah. It's, it is very much a journey and I know how nice it would be to be at the destination already, but mm -hmm. sometimes we change the mark on ourselves and going through that gen generation, no journey. <laughs> that's the one going through that journey is how you figure out where the destination is supposed to be yeah and that's such like i don't know just keeping in mind that um we are humans and as humans we are constantly evolving mentally physically spiritually like in all facets of ourselves like keeping an open mind throughout all of our journeys including gender um is so important and just being like easy with yourself and like loving towards yourself through all of it and then for you but for everyone who is listening or who is watching muted you're doing a great job mm. take it easy on yourself the world's already gonna be mean to you don't <laughs> don't make it harder for yourself Okay, I'm proud of you. That's those are some good words right there, bestie. I can motivate others all day, every day. Well, let's and you see, better we'll listen to your own we'll motivations do a motivation, too. Do a motivation stream next week, except for it's just me talking. <laughs> yeah, motivation stream, Dinah takeover. <laughs> I'm gonna share an affirmation that somebody made me write. Okay. On my whiteboard. Okay. Ready. You Ready. don't have to say it with me because you don't know what the words are yet, but okay. I am worth more than I produce. I love that. Remember that. Say it again. I am worth more than I produce. I love that.
And I love you. I love you. Thank you for sharing. Very grateful for you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And until next time. Until next time. Oh, bye. Have a, have a bye. <laughs> <Thank> you, bye. <laughs> Dinah, everybody. We love Dynamite Jones. We love Dynamite Jones. Oh my God, I love you, Lauren. I love you so much, Lauren. I hope you're doing well. Oh, so good. I am worth more than I produce, besties. That was so good. Uh. <laughs> Big claps for Dinah. Um, we love Dinah. If y'all have never met Dinah before, she is one of my wonderful moderators here. Um, and I love her very much. Um, amazing human being. Uh, huge claps for Dinah. I, um, have one more person. I have one more person that I am going to be getting into call with tonight. And then after I'm done with calls, I am going to be taking questions through the Google form that Lemtis just sent in chat. Um, the form is anonymous. So if you would like to send anonymous questions, though respectful questions, because it is moderated, um, feel free to send them through there. Or if you don't have a question and you just have like a topic you would like me to touch on that you would like to share anonymously or share like your perspective anonymously, you can do so through that form as well, okay? I love you, and I love you, and I love you. Thank you, Dinah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the plus ultra hydrate. Everyone chug your water right now. Okay, cheers. I am almost out of water. Undead, you are more than welcome to, yeah. Feel free to ask a question. Just as you'll probably saw, whenever I'm in call with someone, I don't really super, super uh, look at chat. So if you would like to ask it before we get into call with the next person, I would love to answer or at least give it uh, the best uh, answer that I can. I'm gonna delete this for our next person. Um, that's true. You can also uh, include your name in the form if you would like to. Totally up to you. But before I get into call with the next person, I think I'm gonna grab some water real quick. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that, Draven. I appreciate it. I do my best, bestie. <laughs> I do my best. Um, and I am very, I don't know. If I think about it too much, I'll cry. But I'm very fortunate, very lucky, and very grateful to have people here in my community that make me feel, you know, like comfortable enough to share these things about myself. Because <clears throat> honestly, I feel like growing up, I wish I had someone to talk about this kind of stuff with. And if someone else is in that position where they feel like they have nobody else to talk to about this kind of stuff, I want y'all to be comfortable talking about it here. Um, you know. Thank you, Andre and Seven. I'm gonna quickly grab some water. If y'all need to stretch your body, get water yourself, please do so before we get into call with the next person. All right, deal. Thank you, Andre. All right, quick water break. Delicious. Oh, I knocked it, almost knocked over my Canada Dry. 
are there any exercises or tips you can addressing someone's pronouns as to lessen the amount of mistakes of misgendering Mm mm-hmm absolutely like a good habit building to make the transition easier for those who change their preferred pronouns okay undead whenever personally like especially especially in my like offline IRL life if I have friends who struggle with using they them pronouns for me what I tell them is something to make it easier for them is to in their internal dialogue in their brains whenever they are thinking about me use they them pronouns use my correct pronouns when you're thinking about me and whenever you're having dialogue in your head about me so that whenever you go to speak about me or speak to me it's a little bit easier because you're already thinking that way in your internal dialogue um another thing is to just practice like practice speaking about me with my pronouns um as often as you can but if anyone else would like to to answer that for undead you're welcome to say the same thing yeah out loud can help too yeah saying your thoughts out loud can help too um but yeah having that internal dialogue already set and getting used to it in your internal dialogue whenever you're thinking about the person will make it a whole lot easier whenever you're actually interacting with them or actually talking about them to use their preferred pronouns. Their pronouns, also. I got you undead. Also, little side note, um, something that I am trying to tell people as well, this is also my personal preference, um, whenever you're referring to pronouns or like asking people what their pronouns are, try to leave out the word preferred. Try to leave out out the word preferred. Um, uh, Personally, it, um, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Um, Personally, it makes, uh, it, (sighs) to me, it kind of like lessens the importance, I guess, of pronouns. If you just say preferred pronouns instead of what are your pronouns, because my preferred pronouns are not they, them. My pronouns are they, them. You know? But if someone else has another thing to input on that, you're welcome to. Also, using their new name or pronouns more than you have to is so, so helpful. Yes, what Dino said. Thank you for the hydrate. Everyone drink water. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Find the word. Thank you. Hi, Mika. How are you, love? If you're lurking, please continue to lurk. But yeah, I hope that helped your question, Undead. I hope you're doing well. It's kind of like inviting ambiguity, right? Don't say preferred pronouns ever. Just say pronouns. Okay, thank you, Dinah. Thank you for saying that. All right, so generally in the conversation of pronouns, just... It would be a good rule of thumb to delete the word preferred. Thank you, hydration. I appreciate it. I hope all is well with you. I love that, Undead. Um, Thank you for being open to learning. Thank you, everyone who has been so open to learning. Because if you are in a place in your life where you think you have learned every single thing there is to know, I think you're closed-minded. Sorry. <laughs> I think that is a closed-minded way to live if you are if you think you are done learning because there's always so much more to learn. Um <laughs> not to be dramatic, but you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, but there's always so much to learn and my one of my favorite qualities in people in general is people who have such an open mind and are so willing to learn and are ready to learn. <clears throat> you know? If you think you know everything, you're wrong. Exactly. Okay. I think we are ready to get into call with the last person I will be being in calls with tonight. I'm very excited for y'all to talk with them with me. Um, About you, I've seen two different people at two different times respectfully correct me. Oh, good. I'm glad, Draven. I'm glad. 
to keep learning exactly exactly cassidy chapstick check um okay so we have someone coming on the stream next please give a warm welcome to them <coughs> Hello? Oh, <gasps> Hello, my love. Hello. Let me turn you up. How, How you? are you? I am so good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Oh my god, your little your little uh like react th uh image is so cute i forgot how freaking cute it is oh thank you yes, this is so cute. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. welcome in love thank you. um uh would you like to introduce yourself to everyone <gasps> yes uh, 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 um. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I should do it via chat or vocally or both. I'm gonna do it both. Can I know. I, I, I haven't used it in a long time. Hold on, wait, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good. <gasps> I forgot about that. <laughs> I fully wow. forgot about that. So cute. But hello, hi, I'm Luna Kate Games. My pronouns are they, them, and he. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, my love. Oh, my Thank um, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Um, okay, so I I um was prepared with like a lot of stuff, but now we're going all over the place because I accidentally deleted it. How lovely! <laughs> no, you're you're good. Oh. Literally, just say whatever comes to mind. Um, I will let you say whatever you gotta do. Don't let me inter interrupt if if you're on a roll. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll ask questions whenever I feel like you're done, or you can tell me whenever you're done, because I'm sure I'll have questions for you. Thank you, thank you. So, mm -hmm. um, growing up, gender was, like, diff and difficult for, like, me to understand fully, because it's like, we know he, she, and then even then, like, I still use they. A lot of mm -hmm. people did growing up. Um, we'll get into that later, but, like... Okay. Um, and it's like it was so wild to me because like why is there things such as girl toys why is there things such as boy toys you know and then there's one like oh anyone can play it but it's mostly like girl or boy when I was drawn right. towards like both and like why does this have to be a thing it's not right it's not fair um, so that was like a struggle going up oh Lauren stop please thank you I know. But, but <laughs> you really do I'm like ah uh... like... <laughs> Like it. but it was like it's it's a whole struggle and on top of that another big issue was like because I was younger and now with everyone coming out with it in this generation and age it's so much easier to know okay they them z zer z zem you know things like that for our pronouns and who we are but mm -hmm. like back then it's like well I don't feel like me pissing while I'm sitting is correct. <laughs> so, it feels wrong. Like, it Something's feels incorrect dark. here. Right. I'm like, is it? I'm like, why? Why can't I piss like a boy? Why can't I, I piss while standing up? Looks like exactly. I was like, I don't know entirely how it looks like. Like, how do they do it when they're standing versus like how you know us without the bits? I'm a small side note. Small side note. That's how I felt, but I felt like this is so bad and unhygienic. But I was like, why can't I not wipe the way boys don't wipe? Right. It's like I'm like I, that's... I want to shake. You know, uh -huh. like why can't I shake? I want to shimmy. Why do I have to? Why do I have to you know why we use a um 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 oh my god i can't think of it <laughs> the word you know the the toilet the, psh, the thing where you like sick the, the urinal the you urinal not not the urinal the the, the bidet why can't i the use bidet. The bidet? you know why, why i gotta wipe why can't i just shake in my junk mm. you know because i ain't yeah. got no junk and that's not fair <laughs> that's not fair <laughs> but at Something the same time you know it, it, it's just it was just such a wild concept to me you know and then 
like even then when I got older and got into relationships that was also like a hard thing for me because it's like I'm I have both a nice abundance of mask energy and feminine energy and it's like okay I I <laughs> why is it that I have to be a woman in a relationship why can't I be the man in the relationship and then there are moments where it's like well okay I think I could be the woman in the relationship but I really want to be the man in the relationship or why can't I just be both you know right um, that was like the huge struggle for me like I made a whole commentary on Twitter where it's like when I'm at work I'm baby but when I'm like in public or at home I'm daddy so it's like, amazing <laughs> so, it's, so it's like it's like I don't no, like it, it that was like during my youth like in, in the teen teen years teen years so it was a struggle and then like mm-hmm. it wasn't until like with you with your similar incidents with people on the internet meeting my digital friends and having even more transgendered uh friends and you know people who are mask and femme presenting but that's not who we are you know and right. it, it they helped me like um, one of them a former friend who is a there and that's who they are you know and i have a trans femme uh friend and i'm like can i talk to you uh for a moment i need assistance because i've been struggling like an aspect of myself with my gender and i don't you know like know what to do and what steps should i take you know right to discovering that part of myself of who i am and uh, thankfully you know of course in that community so welcome it's part of you know already the community that i'm in because you know gay if yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know and, and it's like and my my friend she was like oh honey yes you know try exploring finding who you are you know if you want to step into that mask role even if it means something as simple as wearing mask clothes like suits go for it feel it out yes find who you are she was so sweet but then i still talk to her every one now and then when i can because we're both so busy Um, right and i thought that was like the most beautiful thing and then like it's even harder coming out, you know, especially like us being mm-hmm. adults now. Like we're not kids anymore. So right. like, we're coming out, especially to like everyone having us, you know, known as one gender. It's hard, especially when I have a partner because it's like, you know, I'm they then. Not when I prefer it's who I am, you know. And right then throwing he in the mix it's like oh my goodness oh boy and it's like you know um thankfully you know my partner has come you know a long way because in the past i'm pretty sure you know the moment i'd be like i'm he (laughs) and you know he'd be like i'm not gay and i'm like what you're saying me you are bend over baby <laughs> yes believe it or not you are oh at least a little bit gay <laughs> you're gay gay but it's like you know thankfully you know growing up <laughs> growing up um you know it, it, it takes a lot of relationships no matter what like and you know i am fortunate because i do have a cyst presenting relationship and that is a privilege that so many presenting don't understand like if you're dating someone that is identifying as the gender they were born with and you are presenting as like femme and masculine you know you are you know you you have shit from the gay community yeah but on the straight community you know it's like oh well i don't get it i don't understand you're straight you're dating a man nah, 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 nah. no bitch i'm gay and if i had dick i'm pretty sure you know i'd be looking at them booty cheeks a little flat <laughs> pancake you'd be like oh baby let me put you on cheek but i, I, but know, I see what I you're saying you're like, like you know but, yeah but, the straights think you're straight but exactly. the queers think you're not queer enough exactly yeah but, mm-hmm. and, and and thankfully you know um there are people that have come into my life who have seen it and then there are people who, who see this, know this, understand it and want to learn 
more and they try to you know incorporate you know my pronouns they them and on the uh, cheeky occasion he and i thought cute stick my partner i'm putting them on blast okay okay um, one day we will have like a conversation and sometimes i like spill the tea about what's going on at work or whatever and yeah or i'll do i'll say i'll do something and then he'll go oh go ahead girl i mean boy i mean Person, I thought it was the bit because, like, he's trying to be yeah. there for me, you know, and understanding That's know cute. that my pronouns are they, them, and at the time, occasionally he fully stemmed on to they, them, he. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh my gosh, well, at least he's putting forth an effort, especially with someone who has like severe them. Not to put the one place, but put that's a bit so it's like that's wholesome that though, yeah even though, like, like trying yes and it's like you know even like it's oh god my brain <laughs> you're good um, so uh like when i first came out um to people outside the internet at my old uh work site location mm -hmm. the director um, I'm like, oh, my pronouns are they them? Please don't call me sis uh, or girl. Yeah. And out of her mouth, <laughs> this is something you uh -oh. don't say to someone that's coming out to you and trust you enough to say, you know, pronouns are they them? Like, yeah. They them? You're non binary? What does that mean? You're binary? Wait, but you're the most them presenting person that I know <laughs> I don't give one single fuck <laughs> what I'm presenting as I just told you literally my pronouns are they them mm -hmm. okay and what you said out of your mouth is not okay that is so Moving like blatantly forward. rude <laughs> right. like it, it's like it's like not even <laughs> ignorant it's rude <laughs> exactly it it's like, disrespectful <laughs> disrespect your surroundings don't disrespect me <laughs> exactly <laughs> leave me out of this <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly so i'm like okay. and that was your manager or what the, the, the director i mean director. I it would be called like as a general manager I said of like what I do which I'm not saying people chat don't try and figure out what I am okay <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly make god exactly uh, definitely two separate things and it's like yeah well you know I, I let her know it's like moving forward I am they then okay mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what a person you know make up uh, abilities or lack of <laughs> yeah uh, it doesn't matter what kind of clothes you're wearing, what kind of shoes you're wearing, how long your eyelashes are, none of that. doesn't matter any of that because there are, you know, cis men, um, there are gay men who have incredible, just long lashes that you could envy. You know, my partner is one of them who has yeah. lashes that you can look at and envy. You have men who can do makeup better than like the most pre prestigious femme makeup artist so exactly. just because people have these abilities does not mean that they're you know femme or mask you know it doesn't make you more feminine it doesn't make you less masculine what makes you femme mask not binary um when your pronoun is you yourself and that's something you have to discover within you to find out who just take the time down with yourself and feel yourself out you know if you're lost and confused you're not sure what to do it's in that time that you know that you know now that our community is much more out and about it's like <laughs> now's the time to speak to your trans friend to speak to your non-binary friend or find a community online and if you have to be anonymous with it like you know off small even on facebook yeah. you know <laughs> not now, facebook. facebook if you right? have at a last if, resort if have, facebook exactly. <laughs> if you have as a last resort if you in the group they now have the option where you can post up things anonymously you don't have to have your name there while you're trying to find out while before you come out to everyone else of who you are you know so exactly Learning is Learning fundamental is, is fundamental exactly we don't exactly. we don't and oh anyone gender and we don't owe you time because if we're giving you our time you better pay us time 
bitch. Oh, Preach. boss. <laughs> but, Preach. Um, and my thing, too, is, like, you so clearly laying it out in front of them and them still refusing to even, like, look at it or, like, try. Mm. Like, that sucks, especially coming from, like, the director, like that person of power in your workplace i hate uh, that anyone has to deal with that in their workplace exactly <laughs> now i just like it's the directors for me it's just the title truth is held the power yeah i know the team bestie i know the team i know the team it's like oh i'm really holding the power here <laughs> yeah. But yeah um but you know thankfully she she learned um the, she learned the hard way. <laughs> well, Good. If it's not going to be the easy way, it has to be the hard exactly. way. Exactly. It's got to be the hard way. It's like, you know, you got to learn. Um, would we let you go? Know? Because I'm... You. <laughs> yeah. Um, and honestly, you inspire me so much in that um, aspect because I am someone who, like, if I am met with any, like, adverse, like, if anyone like especially in like a formal setting like work or something if someone like questions or like disrespects i tend to be more on like the non-confrontational side i would rather stay quiet if i can and like lay low but like you inspire me to be like uh uh actually no i need you to use my correct pronouns i need you to not call me these things and call me these things instead um so <laughs> Baby, <cry>. Stop. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. No, thank you. <laughs> but, but um and another thing, um mm -hmm. in my in my line of work when I speak to people speak to clients and, and what they need from me, um, before we get into business, I make it a mental note because even though you know, non binary, um you know, uh mask pronouns sometimes you know we get so caught up in our own that, yeah, sometimes it happens that we miss and don't remember to ask what are your pronouns and instead generally it's the to say they them at least for me and, and the vast majority of people that i know um, right instead of just assuming one's gender but it is okay a thousand percent it's not rude it's not disrespectful to say hey what are your pronouns just simply say what are you pronouncing if you don't know said right they is perfect they them is perfectly okay like i make it a point to make sure i ask um my clients what are your pronouns and i had one client um a pronoun was she they and they were so shocked that i asked <laughs> and they were so relieved um that i asked and i'm like yeah you don't have to worry about that here um mm. you to feel comfortable because you have to deal with me for x amount of time and we have to talk and discuss over and go over these things and be in the same room close quarters for a certain amount of time to get you know the best care that you need for whatever we're doing and yeah. so you made um, that person's you know, day. I mean, you absolutely yeah. did. Yes, I was, it was like such a weird thing. And um, another is like with uh, my children, um, pronouns mm -hmm. are she, they, it, or any pronouns. And when I discuss or talk about it, I or we're out together, I, you know, call them my littlest it you know <laughs> so i'm like my little it oh, like if you and... come a rapper that's your name <laughs> <Little> yeah <it. laughs> if you feel comfortable uh how old are your children for those who um, don't know oh my god they're they're in the teen bracket so i don't they're in the put, teens bracket i don't want to put numbers out there cause no for sure i was just wanting to <laughs> give people an idea of <laughs> how are. like what oh, yeah. okay oh, question they're... for you if you feel comfortable they're asking cool. or answering again out about at what age did you start having this conversation with your kids about like your gender identity and like how they can identify type of oh, thing? Early, the moment they were like starting to speak, or they could understand. Like, I made it like a point, and I told my partner even before we had kids, I was like, I don't want children, but if I do have children, I want them to know. Um, I don't want to call it birds and the bees, and I want. Them understand sexuality um mm -hmm. the moment that they can talk to it in stages um you know we can compromise how we go about it but there is no if and 
you're going to have to know about gender, uh, sexuality, things like that, trans, um, and things like that growing up. And thankfully, you know, they knew about it growing up because they went to school and they met children in that age bracket um, mm-hmm. who were gay or discovering and finding themselves and not having, like, excuse me, um, not like having someone um, in their corner for for uh, understanding of what their pronouns are. And right. It, it's a bit, it was a huge thing back home before we moved to where we are now because back home they went to um, Catholic school and you know we already went through the discussion of religion. So. Oh yes. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> so, uh, oh Andre thank you I'm far from but thank you. <laughs> but I'm um, they um they are uh, my thing is they i wanted my children to know early for, for safety reasons which is a completely difficult station um you know about sexual encounter and what to do mm. what to say private parts like it's we don't do girl parts and boy parts in the vagina because if you know god forbid something happens you're gonna say they touch my nose so, no it's a penis and it's a vagina if you see a little yeah. child saying someone touched my penis or someone touched my vagina you're going to listen because it's like what did you just say yeah you know, know so, the anatomy of your exactly, own body um mm-hmm. i want you to know anatomy and i want you to know like love free to love you can't help but be attracted to the person or gender you're attracted to okay and I want my children to understand that because the last thing I want and one of the biggest things that I would consider a failure as a parent is that I waited too late and they turn to their peers and the wrong kind of peers who grew up in a homophobic background not knowing that their parent is straight and they would be, you know, dropping slurs toward the community um, yeah. and not understand why it's not okay and how that can be hurtful and how detrimental that is, not just to the people around them, but the people they live with and who loves them most, you know. Right. Not to my own horn, but yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah. But, you should uh, toot your own horn. You are very <laughs> deserving of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but um yeah it's like i i want them and of course i'm i I'm pretty sure i said this um on, uh, uh the last time we did speak that i did have a running with my son and he did fall in the crowd but thankfully because of um you know what he learned prior to and what we had to reinforce because you know um at because kids are young, kids are dumb, they're going to do stupid shit. It's no excuse, but they at the are. same time, it is kind of, you know, it kind of is a past excuse. And when I mm-hmm. reinforce them, like, you cannot say that. Like, yes, you have a sibling who is binary, you have a sibling who is not straight, you have a parent who is not binary and not straight, but you are not from our community. You can you have to understand just like people who aren't our uh racial backgrounds can't make the same jokes about our racial backgrounds you can't make jokes about our community the way that we can because this is our community and right. you are a cis uh cisgender straight as far as we know male and mm-hmm. I explained and expressed that to him, and that's when the gears like clicked. And of course, you like I said, you're young, not even a teen yet. You're trying to understand these things. And it it it's a lot of work. It takes patience to be a parent. <laughs> I um, cannot really, imagine, bestie, especially but... a parent who's not straight. <laughs> so sure. yeah. Um... No, I think you do a phenomenal job, and I feel like a lot of parents kind of like underestimate how smart their kids can be in terms of accepting these types of topics and like actually being able to like learn and adapt um like a lot of people kind of like you said i feel like a lot of parents will be like oh no that's that's too intense of a topic for my kids to hear at such a young age but really the earlier you teach them the better um 
obviously I'm not a parent, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's just my opinion. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but um, I think you do such a phenomenal, beautiful job Thank with you. your children and raising them in such a loving, open-minded, inclusive way. Um, it like gives me hope for like the next generations, honestly, not to be dramatic, but it gives me so much hope. Cause like, I don't know, like seeing how like joyful and loving, like overly loving your kids are like makes me so happy. And like, I don't know, they're just so willing to accept people. And I, I love that you are like teaching them about this kind of stuff, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, undead, literally exactly why we taught them because I didn't want any of that headache um, of, you know, the, the issues of basically um, I was a parent that my wella is for my mum, um, <laughs> but my <laughs> mum wasn't exactly for me like there were moments where I did have privileges in my childhood I'm not gonna lie about that despite differences mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but um you know when it came to things like that I would go to like my wella when I learned about like what it you know like sex or, or um identity self-identity um things like that but you know unlike most people Again, here's where the privilege comes in. Mm -hmm. I was lucky and grateful that there were, you know, I had a lesbian cousin, cousin um, who was out. And the family, you know, where that side with my wella and my mom and my dad, you know, everyone knew. And it's like, oh, okay, that's fine. Because my parents thought I was going to be a lesbian growing up anyway. Because I yeah. hung out with boys and I hated the color pink. And I wanted to play with quote unquote boy toys and boy yep. clothes and it's like it was all that <laughs> you know, my parents thought i was gonna be gay imagine they surprise surprised when i ended up with a man <laughs> but, <laughs> but then it's like an even bigger surprise you know it was no surprise and i'm like oh yeah i had my boyfriend oh yeah this is also my girlfriend by the way and they're like Oh, so you, you little thought pocket. I'm so proud of you. What the shit? Yes, I am, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad you're supporting, but damn. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, you know, and it, it, it's like, you know, uh, again, you know, unfortunately, not a lot of people have that. And I, I've expressed before, my, my uh, littlest it, uh, they mm -hmm. have a friend you know, is gay and yeah. they can't be with their partner in public but I told them what is here for you if they need someone to be around with their partner will be there for you you know supervise because teens in their home you're gonna be in there with the door open I don't care what gender their partner is <laughs> right <laughs> thought pocket yes little thought oh, pocket <laughs> I love that term it's so good <laughs> thought pocket <laughs> or as my yeah. uh, my sister like says little fresh pot <laughs> <laughs> that's so good <laughs> but, no but uh, I love that you can be that person for other kids and like yeah. offer that kind of space for them when they don't have that like with their own blood family thank you thank you yeah because it's like not everyone watching it and it's very sad and it, it, it sucks major you know but you know yeah. not in the good way either you know not so even in the good it, way like, <laughs> it, it sucks so i you know i just for those of you that are here in chat i'm so grateful that you found paya who is absolutely phenomenal and you found place that is and accepting because that is what player is you know wanting for their community they want you to feel loved they want you to feel so glad you got that way that's why i'm a mod here <laughs> <'Cause> yeah <laughs> i'm grateful for you so beyond words grateful for you thank you, thank um, you. I'm grateful to be yeah. <laughs> I love you so much. Literally, I've already said it a million times tonight, but I'm gonna say it again. You are genuinely someone who inspired me to like look within myself more in terms of gender and like you inspired me to just in general like 
be the truest version of myself and be unapologetically myself and stand up for myself and yeah. um i love you so much <clears throat> Um, is there anything else you would like to say before our time comes to a close? Or if anyone has any questions for Luna, um, if, if you're comfortable uh, answering questions, feel free to, to share in chat. Um, but thank you, Luna. Thanks. You are, you are loved. You are valid. And remember, it is okay to say gender. If you can't speak up, if, if a person who is non-binary can't speak up for themselves, there is a thousand okay for you to speak up for them especially when they're present that speak volumes okay so speak up be there speak up for yourself and if you want to be a voice for the world you so you help in more ways than you know i love you kiss kiss love you oh, so much boy. thank you love <laughs> bye boy <laughs> claps for luna Claps for Luna, claps for Luna, claps for Luna. Eh. I love Luna so much. I love Luna so much. I know, literally so amazing. Um, also, you know what's amazing? Um, they're gonna get mad at me for doing this, um, but he streams um, and you should go support, okay? Um, uh. Excuse me. Um, I didn't, Luna, don't look. Um, <laughs> um, I am so grateful that um, Dinah, Luna, and Joey's submission, um, I'm so grateful for all of them. Um, and I'm glad that they were able to share their perspective on things um, and share their thoughts. And all of them have such a unique perspective. And I hope that y'all learned something from any of them. Thank you, Lemtis. And that's the other, that's Dynamite Jones, who is the other person who is in call with me. Um, go show them some love as well, please. What are you even doing? I agree. I agree. Welcome back, Calvin. I know. I, I love, I love Luna so much. Um, but yeah, I hope you all were able to learn something from any, all of their perspectives. Um, and yeah. Um, okay. So we're gonna switch gears a little bit for the rest of stream, okay? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna switch gears. <laughs> um, I am gonna go ahead and pull up the questions form, okay? Submissions are still open if you would like to submit questions, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open that now and start answering some of the questions or any of like the topic suggestions. Um, but as I'm asking, or as I'm answering these questions, if any of y'all have questions in chat that you want to share, like in chat, you're welcome to. Um, but the form is anonymous uh, if you want to ask anonymously. Um, totally up to y'all. I just wanna, wanna make sure everyone's comfortable, you know? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up some questions. Good night, Mika, thank you for being here. Me. It's okay, Galvin. If any of y'all miss any part of tonight that you uh, have FOMO about or want to just like rewatch, uh, the VOD will exist on Twitch for two months and I'm going to be reposting it to my YouTube. So um, here's my YouTube channels. Uh, I have the VODs channel and my main channel. It's going to be posted on my VODs channel. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull up the questions. I'm going to go like this, like this, uh, like this this and let's do i don't know how this is gonna look it might look weird at first all right yep it looks weird all right hold on <laughs> don't make it weird come on now don't make it weird don't make it weird so y'all can read along and we can have it on screen you know let's see i feel like that should be good that should be good yeah yeah that yeah, that's good. It looks pretty good. If y'all want it bigger, let me know, okay? Um, actually, it could probably be a little bit bigger. Let's do this and this and make it a little bit bigger. Ask me about gender. These gender roles have hands. Um, hello, uh, Angie Chats. How are you? 
Angie, how are you? All right. Topic suggestion. Gender, oh, gender in regards to sexuality. That is so broad. That is so broad. Okay. I'm going to take this from my perspective, but if the if the person asking the question would like to clarify, you're welcome to. Or if anyone thinks they're asking it in a different way or suggesting it in a different way, please chime in. Um, again, gentle reminder, this is an open conversation, so y'all are welcome to chime in respectfully, okay? Um, gender in regards to sexuality. Two different things. Two different separate things gender in regards to sexuality i guess you could be asking how do does your gender identity work into your sexuality um and yeah we're doing well um uh they are two different things in my opinion they are two fully different things um i guess another thing that you could be asking is like gender in regards to labeling labeling is the word i was looking for earlier labeling like your type of relationship uh, in terms of like heterosexual like a queer relationship whatever and if that is something you are asking then it just depends on how the two people identify in the relationship or the multiple people relationship um how they identify for example um, I am a non-binary person, okay? If I am with a cisgender man, uh, that is still a queer relationship. Now, I'm speaking from my experience because this is something that I experienced. If this cisgender man identifies as straight but he is still with me, he does not, this is gonna hurt, he does not see me as a non-binary person. He sees me as a woman. Um, that to me is really painful, but um, if you are a cisgender man, and you are in a relationship with me that is a queer relationship because i am not a woman so painful yeah i am not a woman um yes exactly i'm not a woman i'm a non-binary person and if you say you are straight and you are genuinely trying to pursue a relationship with me you need to sit with the fact that I am not a woman and you are attracted to someone who is not a woman and you want to pursue and love and support a person who is not a woman and sit with that and think about your sexuality, um, your relationship with romance um, and think about that. Um, also, I'm saying this because this is my personal experience, but I... Twitch is not a dating platform, so I'm talking about my relationships, but this is not a dating platform. If they do not respect your identity, they don't respect you. Exactly. Unlabeled and not straight. Good. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it's usually true. Distort. Men will see more feminine presenting non-binary people and still say, you're a pretty girl. Oh, I'm actually not a girl okay weird you're still pretty and then they'll just kind of like still not really sit with that they don't really want to sit with those kind of thoughts you know um <laughs> and then they can leave <laughs> exactly thank you lemtus um but yeah i guess like in this conversation about about relationships and gender identities and sexuality just Again, with the theme of the night, uh, your presentation does not equate your gender identity. So, like, really thinking about and, like, taking into account how the person you're attracted to identifies, that shit matters so much. And that is not to be taken lightly whenever you are pursuing someone. 
in general it doesn't even have to be like romantically just in general when you're pursuing someone you know um all right i'm going to close this question next question i'm just doing this so i can lightly read it before i switch over and show it on on stream um oh seven i don't know if seven's still here um seven said here i'll let y'all read it too hi it's seven hee hee <laughs> is the reason i'm a boy but i want a skirt no not at all not at all that is not weird at all bestie um that kind of goes into how does gender uh work into like uh clothing and the answer is it doesn't clothing does not have a gender so no you're good seven you're good let me switch my airpod it's dying of cross-dressing yeah fully but uh, clothing does not have gender clothing does not have gender is when people hear I'm gender gender queer and think it means the only pronouns I use are are he him just because I'm mask presenting that's frustrating I'm sorry you have to deal with that Clothing does not have gender, exactly. It's, it's such a weird fucking concept. All right, anyways, seven. Hi, it's seven, hee <laughs> hee. Not non-obvi, <laughs> just wanted to send some in chat. I, fe I feel I've come into my gender so much more these last few years. Being out of high school has definitely helped because of how toxic people are, yup. I remember my freshman year, my friends would kind of force relationships on me with guys and I think I just always knew it never felt right. My sophomore year, I sat next to this one girl in a class who was out as pansexual and whenever we'd talk about gender slash sexuality topics, I remember just being a very strong ally. Oh my God, the strong ally phase. I feel that. I'm just a really strong ally. I support the LGBT community so much. <laughs> I feel that. Um, <clears throat> and oh wow, was I wrong, LMAO. <laughs> I also dated a girl for the first time my sophomore year. My partner was trans, but he came out a year after we split. And since then, I've been so much more open to my sexuality and gender. I've always felt out of place uh, dressing hyper femininely and hated wearing makeup and color guard performances or for wearing makeup for color guard performances, but I wouldn't consider any of my feelings as dysmorphia because I can still, I can still appreciate my looks and stuff, you know, but regardless, after being informed about envy people and different identities, I feel it fits so much more. I've been using they, she pronouns for about a year now. Fun fact, this community is the first place I introduced myself as non-binary. Stop that me. Um, I know there's still so much more to discover about myself, but it's a learning process and just want y'all to know you are never alone. Seven, I know you're playing Val, but I love you so much, so, so much. And I'm so proud of you for the person you are, everything you went through, especially recently. I'm so fucking proud of you. And I'm so happy to just kind of like watch you come into the person that you are today and like constantly like still learning about yourself i'm so proud of you and i love you so much mm. comf comf masculinity tor stop galvin what is that <laughs> no i'm just comfortable in my masculinity mm. nice <laughs> My parents are kind of have to high at the same time. I feel like I shouldn't have to. No, you absolutely shouldn't have to. If that is who you are and that is what you want to wear, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm, yes, English. <clears throat> Excuse me. English is hard. Seven, thank you for sharing, love. That was beautiful. I appreciate oh, you so yeah. much. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> love you so much, Seven. All right, next question next question let's see good question oh i i moved it out of frame i'm so sorry um next question thank you seven um what kind of ways can cis people support gender non-conforming trans gender fucked individuals 
Oh, this is a this is a big one. This is a big one. And all of my all of my gender non-conforming trans gender fucked folks, please feel free to chime in. But kind of what we've been talking about all night is like respect. <laughs> uh respect uh being aware um of like gender non-conforming people and being comfortable and respectful when asking okay um and whenever you get an answer from the question that you're asking whether it be what are your pronouns or are you comfortable if i call you this that whatever any gendered word gendered words meaning like bro sis girl um things like that um if you don't get the answer you're looking for be open-minded and listen to the person um and just in general keep an open mind and be respectful um start referring to your boy girlfriend as partner that's such a good one galvin that is such a oh my god that is such a good one um but yeah refer to your your boyfriend girlfriend as partner instead of boyfriend girlfriend um it'll help normalize that because that is a term that a lot of queer relationships use um and i feel like that is also a good way to find a red flag in people is if they are not comfortable with the word partner and if they insist on girlfriend or boyfriend to me that's a red flag to me hey team instead of saying hey guys like everyone else says, cat, that's beautiful. Also, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, that's that's important. Um and um I do my best here. I do my best to not use a whole lot of gendered uh gendered words, but if I if I if I ever use a gendered word that makes you uncomfortable, please 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 call me back. Call me out. Um because I'm trying to do my best. Um, but yeah, avoiding gendered words in general, unless you know, the, like if you, okay, good rule of thumb, avoid gendered words just in general. Um, but also if you personally and closely know someone who is comfortable with certain words and you have communicated with that, then go for it. For example, um, a like my not naming names um my trans friend um who identifies you know as a woman um i have asked you know are you okay if i call you girl um are you okay um if i call you girl i'm trying to think of another another example but girl is the first one that's coming to mind like in conversation with my are you okay with me calling you girl and she was like, yeah. So in that case, that is how that kind of conversation goes. Like if you catch yourself saying a gendered word, simply asking like, hey, are you comfortable with that? Like, I just want to make sure you're comfortable with that. Um, and then not making a big deal out of it if it's not okay. <laughs> I feel like if they say, you know what? No, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I'm, I'm comfortable with that right now. Don't be overly apologetic. Just say, okay, I'm sorry. And then move on. Um, she's pretty cool, whatever. So good, but want to be cowboy, which I am. Don't get me wrong. Not to be dramatic or anything, but I do have a cowboy hat. So. <laughs> yeah, but y'all is very inclusive. Y'all is very inclusive. Um, but yeah, that's my two cents on that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Next question. Next question. If you could tell your younger, oh, if you could tell your younger self anything regarding gender, what would you tell them? That's going to fuck me up. <laughs> um. <laughs> I agree, Kat. I'm very grateful to have so many really fucking cool people here. Um, if you could tell your younger self anything regarding gender, what would it be? I would tell younger version of myself, don't listen to your mom. <laughs> your mom is not correct. <laughs> you boy, Andre, exactly. Uh, your mom's perspective is not the end all be all perspective, right? Um, I would tell myself that. I would also tell myself, um, 
probably in high school, I would tell myself, hey, probably like early high school, I would tell myself, hey, you know those feelings that you're feeling on the inside about how you look on the outside? It, don't hate yourself for those, oh, this is gonna make me emotional. Don't hate yourself for those feelings. Those feelings are okay and they don't mean anything bad. There's nothing wrong with your body. And there's a lot more to your body than what you think there is. Um, I would tell myself that. Don't be hard on yourself. Yeah, gender is fluid. Don't be hard on yourself. That's a good one too. Good question. Everything you think you know and we're told about the topic from people who don't know or yeah that's a good one too Draven um I feel like I would also tell myself like go ahead and unlearn everything you learned about gender roles and everything society is telling you about gender roles because it's fucked and it's misogynist gender roles that are taught like in media it, it's misogynist all of it <laughs> it's misogynist <laughs> Hi, NYC. It's been good. How are you? Welcome in. I feel like my eyelash is falling off again. Fuck. Anyways. Another question. Do you have any advice for someone just starting to try out new pronouns and to figure out what their gender identity is? Yes, I do have some advice. I do. Um, kind of, I mean, exactly what Seven said, um, just kind of, my advice would be to remind yourself that, um, everything that you're feeling is okay, um, to be easy on yourself. Don't put, don't put so much pressure on yourself for, to figure it out, you know? Um, don't put a lot of pressure on it because it is such a journey. Um, and also gender is fluid. Gender, well, first of all, gender is a construct. Second of all, gender is so fluid, okay? Oh, nice. Oh, I love that NYC. Oh, my God. Exactly. Um, but, yeah. Um, and in terms of trying out new pronouns, I get excited about this because I... I don't need, mean to toot my own horn, but I feel like we have such a good space here. And obviously, if you're asking this question in this form, you are a part of this community. But whenever you're trying new pronouns, obviously, do your best to try them in safe spaces. And this is a perfect space to do that. Okay? We do pronouns checks at least once a day, sometimes two or three times a day in these streams. Um, and... Um, this is a perfect place to try out new pronouns and see how you feel with them. See how you feel with me saying the pronouns during pronoun checks next to your name. Um, see how that makes you feel and really like sit with your feelings and um, listen to how you feel. Exactly, Luna. Nah, Andre, thank you. <laughs> That's my advice on that. non-binary people in chat what non-binary people in chat chat they are referring to you non-binary people in chat uh what does gender mean to you i'm on my gender identity journey but i don't completely resonate with anything curious to how to curious to know what it means to you Yes, I had a question on if you feel pronouns correlate with pronouns. Wait. NYC, did you submit a question or are you asking me now? Because if you're asking me now, I can answer it after this one. Um, but we're about halfway through the forms. Um, but non-binary people in chat, uh, what does gender mean to you? Um, okay, NYC, if you could highlight that message, if you could resend it and highlight your message, I can, um, answer it after this question, okay, just so I don't get super scatterbrained. Um, so, me, a non-binary person, other non-binary people, you're welcome to chime in. Gender, 
gender to me again is a construct but if i'm really thinking about if i need to give a definition to gender to me it's the different like it's the different mesh of femininity and masculinity within myself um and how um that makes me feel on the inside Gender is a societal construct and that means it's as real as money or the concept of crime. For me, part of being NB is about not identifying as the social concept of man or woman. Exactly. I very much heavily agree with Galvin in that it's not me identifying as a man or a woman. It's me resonating with my masculine side and my feminine side. Masculine not being masculine does not equate man feminine does not equate woman um it's that mix within myself thank you nyc um but other nbs you're welcome to chime in that is how i feel about it and nyc's question is uh do i feel let me move this let me oh that's the wrong thing let me move this here so y'all can see chat i didn't even realize um do i feel that pronouns correlate with gender no not always to my answer to this and again other people please chime in it depends on the person if the person heavily identifies both together as one joint thing that is their own thing me personally i think that they are two separate things I think gender is one thing and pronouns are another thing. Um, non-binary, like for example, for example, not every single non-binary person will use they, them pronouns, right? There are non-binary people who use they, she, he, they, they, them, um, it, it. Um, so I think they are two separate things um yeah that is what i think on that but if someone if someone feels differently um i want to make it like abundantly clear if someone thinks differently um i would love to hear your perspective because even though this is my stream and i'm talking most of the time um i am very open to learning and if you have a different perspective i would love to hear um respectfully of course respectfully I'm going to go to the next question and I'm going to go ahead after after I answer this question I'm going to close submissions so if you want to get any like questions or like topics in feel free to do that if it'll come through it might be on cooldown ask fuck another four seconds um an indicator of gender the strongly they strongly correlate but are not always one to one. That's good. Yeah, I would I would I can back that for sure. It's like pronouns are represent can be a representation, but I don't think they are directly correlated. Thank you, Lemtis. Thank you. Next. Oh, part two. <gasps> a double part. Part two, uh part two to the previous question about what gender means to you. Cis people. <laughs> cisgender people we are asking you cisgender people what does gender mean to you how do you know you are a man or a woman that's a good question what even makes a man or a woman what even makes a man or a woman because that is up to the fucking societal construct of gender uh gender roles um anatomy to some people um and presentation which is all a construct um but but again i am not a cisgender people i'm i'm not a cisgender people um <laughs> so cisgender people feel free to respond to this yes to, okay luna says yes to an extent your pronouns are your gender identity not your physical appearance if that's what you mean okay yes i can see that perspective luna it is all absolutely up to the person themselves. Yeah, it's a good way to, for a person, kind of, I mean, it's kind of like labels. It's a good way for a person to label themselves and present themselves. Yeah, NYC, we got you. 
I don't know. That's part of the struggle, right? Those are tough questions. Yeah. I think anatomy for me, but that's sex, not gender. Exactly. Anatomy is sex, not gender. I grew up knowing I was a man, doing man things according to my parents. So then comes the question, what are man things and why are they not woman things? You know? And this is, th these are all like rhetorical questions to make you think. You definitely don't have to answer if you don't want to. Um, but that, that, that gives the question of what, what are man things? Are man, do you know you're a man because you grew up playing with toy trucks instead of Barbies? Uh, did you grow up, uh, you know, wearing clothes from the boys section of the store instead of the women's section? Is that what, what creates gender? Sex is also not a binary, just to put that into the room. True. Intersex people exist. Very true. Thank you, Galvin. When did non-binary things... Wait. When I did non... Wait. When I did non-man things, then questions were asked. Hmm. I assume they were asked in a derogatory way. And if that's the case, I'm sorry you went through that that man thing and woman things are just social. They absolutely are persona, in my opinion. They absolutely are. Distort, I'm sorry you went through that. Belgi is scratching my bum in public. <laughs> Luna, stop, I love you. Um, uh, yeah, but um, yeah, thank you all for, for answering that. Um, but it's definitely an interesting way to really like sit down and be like, what actually makes a man <clears throat> and what actually makes a woman? Um, and to people who are closed minded, it's easy. Women have titties and they cook in kitchen and they have babies. Man go to work, man work on car. Man have beers at bar with friends who are also man. Um, uh but that it's it's a lot more deep than that it's a lot deeper than that bro um okay on to the next <laughs> anyways 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 a lot of them <laughs> yeah but it's all a fucking it's all a fucking construct all right i'm gonna go ahead and close responses i'm closing responses but if you have like a burning question um again you're welcome to to send it in chat okay for a friend's check yeah, Luna. i love you okay next <clears throat> next question next question do you ever feel like they doesn't fully cover what you are feeling i feel like that I feel like that sometimes but i use it because it's the accepted non-binary term personally in my experience i feel very happy and like mostly covered by they them pronouns um there was a long time where whenever i first switched from using they them she to just they them um that i wasn't fully sure if i was feeling it and if i wanted to be more fluid and use they them but sometimes they them she but um after a while it it i have pretty much fully like 99 percent of the way feel fully covered by they them pronouns in my personal experience um on the occasion like for example whenever i do my daddy drag and i am in a beard and like very masculine drag I am fine with he, him pronouns whenever I am in drag, but that's a very specific instance. Um, but I can, I can, I can relate to what you're feeling about not fully being covered. In which case I would encourage you to try out using maybe they, them, and then another pronoun and like seeing how having that other pronoun in the mix makes you feel, um, or even, um, maybe using if this is kind of a stretch but if you feel comfortable with using any pronouns that's another thing that's an option you don't have to be limited to just they them or they them he or she they like you can use any pronouns and then 
for example, I know someone who uses any pronouns, but if they are preferring, like, if they would like to use a specific pronoun more so that day, then they will tell me um, type of thing. So those are some options. Hard to remove those social ideas, though. Oh, absolutely. As a cis woman, I feel like there's a huge pressure to reproduce. Yep. Um, have to do a mo woman thing. No, Persona, you are 1,000% per correct. Even with cisgender people, it is hard to deconstruct societal gender roles. Um, and you're right. They, there is an intense pressure to reproduce. And there's a million reasons why not to reproduce and they are all valid and if you want to reproduce that's valid too but you're right as a woman and i'm saying this as someone who identified as a woman for a long time that is such a focus of conversation and to me it almost comes off as inappropriate like why why are other people so concerned with how i want to live my life and if i want to use protection in the bedroom <laughs> you know <laughs> if they them doesn't cover it give give neo pronouns a try true zay zer zay zim z etc yeah there's lots of options out there my beloved i know i need to i need to bring them back <laughs> it's been a minute i literally when was the last time we did daddy drag it's been a long time in a tizzle bestie <laughs> the term i'm secure with my manhood so i can interact and play with and flirt my gay non-binary friends but like you said what constitutes manhood mm -hmm. dictates that label exactly think about it and also it depends like it can vary from person to person like your definition of manhood could be different than my definition you know but when it when it all boils down, we're all just humans. <laughs> we're all just humans, <laughs> you know? So then what determines what you identify as? Hold on, Javen. Oh, yeah. Let me reread your message. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So then what determines what you identify as? Do you want to elaborate more, Draven? Are you talking about my gender identity? Because if you're asking about my gender identity, for me, not you personally. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Because um, I'll just go ahead and say what I was thinking, though. Um, not directed at you, but just in general. For me, the way I identify depends on, like, kind of like I said earlier, how I am feeling um, with my mix of masculinity and femininity within myself. Femininity not equating to women, masculinity not equating to men. Separate, those, the terms are separate and the meanings are separate. Father's Day, I think it was Father's Day. Since Father's Day, yeah. Them to those not ready in the loop, true. It's easy for others to get. Um, binaries are complete concepts. Black, white, good, evil, men, women. Yep. Want those understandings to relate to. Exactly. It's just, it's easier to understand. It's, it's, it's easier for people to understand. And it's so, like, easy to default to that. And some people aren't open-minded enough to think about it. On a floating rock in a vacuum. I'll identify however you want, bestie. <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all just silly little humans. That being said, she, her, they, Kyobi. I love you, and I fully support this. Whatever you want to do. Um, also, Broby, Broby can hit my line anytime he wants. <laughs> Y'all, Kyobi did a stream in like masculine drag and it was, can I get a shot for Kyobi? It was so good. I was feeling things, bestie. Not that I'm already not feeling things for you, but I was feeling things, bestie. <laughs> this human is phenomenal. Go support. Go support. Um, but yeah, Kyobi, um, should we do, let's do a pronouns check. Should we do a pronouns check? 
um send your pronouns in chat if you feel comfortable um no joking pronouns we will ban you if you send joking pronouns and um this is a safe place to try new pronouns if you would like my pronouns are they them what are yours um luna i'll read your message in a second <clears throat> they them over here pocket stage literally she her for persona she they for lemtis they them he for luna he they for distort he him for andre she her for nyc they them for daisy thank y'all thank y'all thank you she they for ham he him for andrizzy i hope you're doing well thank y'all for sharing your pronouns keep them coming if you would like and again this is always a safe place to try new pronouns okay um luna i'm gonna read your message Did I mute myself? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Thank you, Lettuce. I don't know when that happened. Fuck. <laughs> Apologies. I'm just gonna repeat myself. I don't know how long I was muted for, but Luna, I read your message and I wanted to say thank you for saying all of that. Um, everyone, if you did not read what Luna said a little bit up, um, please read what Luna said. Really good. And also, I'll read through the pronouns again because I don't know how long I was muted for. She, her for persona, she, they for Lemtis, they, them, he for Luna, he, they for Distort, he, him for Andre, she, her for NYC, they, them for Daisy, she, they for Ham, he, him for Andrizzy, she, her, they for Kiovi, and they, she for Pancake. Nice. Thank you for your pronouns. And again, my pronouns are they, them. And uh, this is always a safe place to try new pronouns. All right, next question. Wait, did I? Hold on. <laughs> okay, I did that one. Oh, here we go. She there for Dinah. Thank you, Dinah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, an advice question. Any advice for someone whose long-term partner is now transitioning from male to female? I've been doing a lot of active listening and reading on the topic, but wanted to ask if there's anything I could be doing to support them more. This is huge alone. <laughs> This is huge alone and I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Um, I feel like you are already doing so much with active listening and reading on the topic and educating yourself. Yeah, literally, you're already doing so well. You're doing such a good job. Um, I would say, and I'm sure you're already doing this because you sound like such a sweet, mindful, aware human being. Um, check in with your partner. Um, as often as you feel comfortable. Check in with your partner, um, have that open line of communication where you can, you know, you can ask them like, hey, is there, like genuinely sit them, sit them down and ask them like, how are you doing with everything? And also sit down and ask them, is there anything that I have done um, that I could be doing better at? Um, ask them that. Um, and maybe also open the floor to them telling you, like, if there's anything specific, specific that you've called them or, like, touch them a certain way that made them feel uncomfortable so that you can continue to better, the, not only the way that you're talking, conversing with them, but also, like, how you're physically interacting with them, you know? Not asking them to inform you for you is fucking huge. Yeah huge because I feel like I can't answer that question anymore of what constitutes a man what do you need to do Draven I'm very proud of you and we are here for you okay perfect but I hope that answered your question and if anyone else would like to contribute to that you're welcome to but you're doing you're doing amazing you're already doing amazing okay you're already doing phenomenal uh another one another one. Oh, this is not a question this is just uh sharing perspective and stuff um oh i love all of this conversation i am an older nerd <laughs> and my generation were com complacent but wouldn't acknowledge us of non-binary 
genders or orientations so anyone wanting to belong ignored themselves and went with the standards i love the perspective currently being expressed it's very refreshing and gives me hope for the future of humanity and letting people be who they are whoever sent this in i'm giving you a big hug thank you for saying that also body dysmorphia can be a big thing ask them what they want certain body parts to be called that's a that's a good one galvin thank you for saying that like princess one oh that's so cute <laughs> that's so cute um oh wait oh my god i don't know if joey's still here but i thought about him whenever i saw this on tiktok but i saw someone like a um like a trans man talking <laughs> about like his area and he was like i want all trans men to call their areas the man cave and I was like, that is the best thing I think I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> Man cave. So good. Um, but thank you, whoever sent this in. Lots of love to you. <laughs> the Man cave. I love that. That's like... I need to tell Joey next time I talk to them if they're not here. Because it made me think of Joey. Me too. So good. Okay, last two questions. Or last two submissions. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not sure how to ask this. This is, that's okay. It's okay. Um, use for the term, right? I am a cisgender female, but I was born with a genetic disorder that makes my body produce more testosterone than the typical female does. Okay. This causes me to grow facial hair among a slew of other issues. I am confused on my gender identity and have been for a long time. I feel invalidated by calling myself a woman, but I know, but I, but I don't know what else to identify myself as. I'm super all over the place with this. I'm sorry, but any advice that you Ha that you may have for me about being comfortable with my gender would be greatly appreciated first of all i am so sorry that you feel invalidated whether that be your own internal intrusive thoughts or what other people are telling you i am so sorry that you feel invalidated um and i'm sorry you're going through this um i think your body is beautiful okay Honestly, all of y'all. I think all of your bodies are absolutely fucking beautiful. And I am so grateful that all of us have these wonderful, strong, capable meat sacks to carry us throughout our life, even though sometimes they may cause us pain um, and confusion. I am so grateful that all of us have these bodies. You are beautiful, right? <sighs> okay. I'm sorry you feel invalidated. Um... And I'm sorry there's so much confusion. Confusion. I am not someone who has experienced something like on this level, especially having higher levels of testosterone in your body. I have never experienced that myself. But I would say in terms of like, uh. excuse me, <laughs> in terms of thinking about how you identify and thinking about what I would look inward and think about what exactly is invalidating you to call yourself a woman and think about if there is actually any validity in the reasons why you feel invalidated. Um, for example, if someone is telling you that you don't look like a woman, so you're not a woman, that's invalid. There is no right or wrong way to look like a woman. So, <laughs> with that, literally anything that someone else is telling you about the way you look, the way you identify, not valid. None of that matters. What matters is how you feel within yourself. Um, you are more than your body. Exactly. It is beautiful. Just know, as Paya has said before, you are more than your body. We are a community that will be more than happy to help you on the journey of self-discovery. Exactly what Luna said. We are here for you. It sounds familiar to intersex that might be a community that can help you guide further that's true galvin thank you it sounds like a community that you could pursue 
um, is the intersex community. If you are looking for, for people who may be going through very similar things as you, um, look into intersex communities, my love. Um, sounds good, Luna. And um, you, are, you have a home here as well. We support you and we love you through this journey. But again, whatever other people or society is telling you about yourself and your body and your experience does not matter. What matters whenever you're thinking about how you want to identify, how you feel, it, it, what matters is on the inside. Do you feel like you identify as a woman? And if so, that's all that you need. Um, and again, kind of theme of the night is think about within yourself, what does it mean to be a woman? What does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be somewhere in between, you know? Um, and like explore that and talk to people about it talk talk to talk to queer folk about it all right we got you back <laughs> we got you back um but again i'm so sorry that you're feeling so much confusion and you're feeling invalid you are extremely valid in whatever way you want to identify however you want to present you are very valid in all of that um and we love and support you okay I think oh, we're on our last one. We're on our last submission. Me. Okay. And just because this is my last submission, y'all are welcome to keep asking questions in chat if you have anything that comes to mind, okay? Just make sure to highlight it so that I can come back to it, okay? Oh, it's not a question. It's a it's a thingy thing. Um so I go by they, them, but I still call myself a girl and a woman. So I'm just confused in general. Ha ha. Oh, bestie. That's okay. Th that's okay. No matter what, making the decision will be less stressful. That is so true. Um, Luca, thank you for sharing and I hope you're doing well. Literally having that peace of mind that like it's going to be okay no matter what. And like having, oh, that's a good point. That, that just brought to my mind too, just to remember to like be soft with yourself, be gentle with yourself and keep yourself in a mind state of like love because you, you know, don't have to define you. Exactly, body hair, that is a whole nother conversation, but having body hair does not make you a man. Having body hair does not make you manly not every single man has body hair or even has the capability to grow body hair so body hair does not identify anything i have been very comfortable i'm not gonna lift my armpits because things can get weird but i have been very comfortable growing out like my body hair specifically my armpits and like i think it's so empowering honestly i think it's so empowering Pronouns don't necessarily mean identity. Exactly. So use whatever you're comfortable with. Exactly. To myself by saying girl, woman while going by they, them. No, not at all. Exactly. Just do you. Like, my thing is literally do whatever you're comfortable with. Um, and, like, communicate. Ah! Thank you for the raid. Give me your jelly beans. Give me your jelly bean. Hello, Jiggle. How are you? Hello, Jiggle. Hello, Llama. How was your How was How was your raid? How was your stream? How was your stream? What'd you get into tonight? Welcome in raiders. My name is Pia. My pronouns are they them. I am a variety queer. I'm a variety queer streamer. I'm a variety queer streamer. Um, I like to play cozy games, puzzle games, horror games. I dabble in ASMR as well as makeup here. Really big into mental health and self-care as well as weird shit. Tonight we're talking about gender. Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in Raiders. Thank you, Cassidy. Um, hello, Aaron. How are you? Hi, Hazel. As a woman, and honestly, I'm pretty femme, and a lot of the time, I don't shave my armpits or legs anymore. I don't feel it takes anything away from my femininity either. Yeah, literally, razors were introduced after, I forget which war, after a war, and they were advertised to women for no reason. <laughs> That's why society expects women to be hairless, which is also opening another can of worms a little bit pedophilic. 
um, in my opinion. Um, but yeah. No, you're good. Don't apologize. Please keep lurking if you want to. Thank you for contributing to the conversation, though. I adore you. Um, but yeah, um, having hair or lacking hair does not make anything, does not equate to anything. <laughs> wants to take your money. Yeah, the reason wants to take your money, literally. Ouch, but true. It was lovely. I'm glad you had a lovely stream, Llama. Thank you for sharing your community with me. Please go, go do your post stream self care. I adore you. Thank you. The pink tax, yeah, big yikes. Yeah, but I have not, I have not shaved my armpits in over, over like a year and some months. And thank you for the hydrate. Everyone drink your water. Um, I only shave my legs whenever I'm getting tattoos on my legs. <laughs> Um, and, um, we love a bush, you know, <laughs> we love a bush. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Hazel. Yep. 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 They, yep. Definitely weird champ. Definitely weird. Mm hmm. I'm right with you there. Sounds good. Nama. Two women just to introduce them to consumers. Men were already covered because men have facial hair. Mm, yep. And not all men have facial hair, you know? I feel like I've always identified as male because that's what I was programmed to believe. Yep. Because I'm biologically a male who is emotionally and physically attracted to women. Okay, yes. But now when I think about your questions and listening to everyone's perspectives, it gives me a lot to think about. Good. Um, so at this point, I think until further notice, I may want to change my pronouns to he, it. I love you, Javen, and we fully support you on this, okay? Same, Hazel. <laughs> Give me the bush. <laughs> um, Javen, I'm really proud of you for, for, like, reflecting on that and whatnot. Um, and again, we're here for you. Doesn't make you more or less of a woman or a person. However, I still shave my legs exclusively because the shaving cream I use makes them feel very soft. Oh, yeah, baby. For anyone except myself. Exactly. Like, if you like shaving, amazing. Keep doing it because it makes you feel comfortable and confident in your body. If you do not shave, keep doing it. And good on you. As long as you feel comfortable and confident in your body. Because guess what? It's your body. It's your body. Many gender products aren't that different. Just get the cheaper one. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just get the cheaper one, bestie. Um, but yeah, back to this. Uh, so I go by they, them, but I call myself a girl and a woman. So I'm just confused in general. Back to this. I just want to say, do w literally whatever you're comfortable with. Um, there are women who use they them pronouns there are men who use they them pronouns you do not have to be exclusively one or the other <clears throat> to use what pronouns you can be a non-binary person and use gendered words even if another non-binary person does not like those gendered words it's literally it's so individual it's so individual and you're entirely valid in literally whatever whatever you are comfortable with okay only because it feels so good to get in the sheets. Oh my God, you are right. You are right on that. Um, okay, but that was the last of our question submissions. So I'm going to hide this and I'm gonna close this. And um, y'all are welcome to send more questions in chat though, okay? We're not ending just yet. Um, but if you have more questions, please send them in chat. Um, this has been such a good conversation, y'all. This has been so good. And um, those of you who are around these parts of the internet on my Twitch channel oh, a lot, yeah. oh, um, yeah. thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. You know that this is something that I am comfortable talking about all the time. Um, and if you're new around here and um, you're on this gender journey as well, um, please know that we are here to support you and you are valid in everything that you're feeling and um, you have us to lean on. Um, but yeah. 
Oh, thank you, Cassie. I didn't even see what happened. Thank you. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna do this. Just cause I, I feel like, I feel like the energy is this. I feel like that was the energy. Cause Cassidy came in hot. <laughs> Thank you, Cassidy. Um, but it has been such a beautiful, beautiful conversation tonight. And um, yeah, this is something I'm always comfortable talking about. So um, if you wanna talk about this in the future, feel free to always bring it up. This is something that I love talking about. I want to be here to support y'all. You know, hi, Easy, how are you? Welcome in. Um, I want to be here to support y'all. And um, we also have um, an LGBTQIA plus channel in the Discord. Um, so if like I'm offline and you wanna talk about something queer, if you wanna talk about some queer shit offline, Discord. <laughs> I'm glad you're all right. Welcome in. Here are my rules since you're new. Here are your here are my rules. Please abide by them. Um but yeah, thank you for everything tonight. It has been an absolutely wonderful, wonderful conversation and shit talking about shit like this brings me so much joy and makes me feel like it makes me feel like really good about just everything that we have going on here, you know? Understood. I'm glad, 10-4. <laughs> so formal. Um, okay. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to, to my people who, um, who were in call with me earlier and who had a submission. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Dinah. Thank you, Luna. Um, thank you all for being so open and for sharing yourselves with us. Thank you, Distort. Thank you. Um, it has been wonderful tonight. Very refreshing. Myself below the neck, key emphasis on the person engaging in the action. Um, if I were to build a close enough relationship with a woman where they had a preference, then what they did with me was fair game. Okay, yeah, whatever you wanna do. Whatever you wanna do. Below the neck, yeah. Literally do whatever you want with your body. Emphasis on what you want for your body. Thank you, Lemtis. Um, and also, thank you to anyone and everyone who has contributed to this conversation. Even if you're, I'm not calling you out of your lurk. Even if you're here lurking, I'm very proud of you and you are, I'm very proud of you and you're very valid. And um, thank you for being here. Um, again, not calling you out of your lurk. Please continue lurking. It's okay, just please uh, read the room. Read the room, easy. Um, and if that's something you struggle with, uh, thank you for communicating it. Just follow my rules, please, and be respectful. I saved my... I just self invested my laundry, oh my God. Thank you, Luna. Um, uh, okay, I'm very grateful for y'all. I am going to slowly look for someone to trade out to. Um, Thank you for being a part of this conversation. Thank you to anyone who shared any part of themselves tonight with us. Um, thank you to anyone who contributed to the conversation. Um, yeah. Thank you for the support tonight. Thank you for the subs, the resubs, uh, tipping the mods. Thank you for the mod tips. Um, and oh, yeah. thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And um, I'm very, again, I'm very proud of all of y'all and I love you. <laughs> I love that for you, Draven. Thank you, Persona. Thank you, Daisy. Yeah, this has been such... I love this shit because, like, not only does it make me feel like... It's one of those moments where I feel like I have, like... I mean, I... I'm already very, like, I very much know that I have purpose, but it's almost like that reassurance that, like, I have purpose here doing what I do, you know? And it makes me feel really good about what we have going on here. But it also just, like, it makes me feel so connected to y'all, and it makes me feel so proud of y'all for, like, learning. And, like, I learned a lot tonight, um, and 
I love learning. I feel like learning together is just a special sort of like bonding, you know? It's special. Thank you for checking us out for re from Recommended. Thank you, Luna. Thank you for being a part of it. Um, on the topic of like these kinds of conversation streams, I love this shit. And um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, mainly because over the past like month or so, I've had a handful of people recommend, or not recommend, a handful of people suggest this to me or like ask me if I could do this. So, um, if you have a topic you would like us to focus on during stream, please suggest it in the Discord. I have a suggestion section and under the suggestion section, there is a channel called General Stream and you can suggest it there. Obviously, I will only take topics that like mean a lot to me and something that I feel like would be empowering for the community to talk about, okay? Yeah, I love this. Exactly. No, Lemtis, I feel that too. Having it be like an open conversation is like the best in my opinion. Thank you for being careful, Easy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but y'all are amazing. Next stream is going to be tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I think I'm either going to do some Disney tomorrow, the Disney Dreamlight, or, um, or Mortuary Assistant. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to play it by ear tomorrow and kind of see what we're feeling, okay? Thank you for sharing, Easy. You are completely fine and you are safe here. Thank you for being aware. Me too, Luna. I love that shit. I, this is the good shit right here. This is the good shit right here. And again, um, I'm gonna do some of these, okay. Gender, comfort, help. Um, we'll see, Luna, because I really want to, I really might, I really might want a 100% more terrarium assistant. Maybe. So we might play more terrarium assistant tomorrow. I might play Disney. Uh, Thursday, oh. Thursday night, I am starting stream at 7 p.m. Eastern because I'm playing with my friend, Abby, and we're playing Phasmophobia. Um, this is Abby. This is Abby, um, but we're starting at 7 p.m. Eastern instead of eight uh, because that's what time she starts. And I just want to start at the same time as her. She, her pronouns for Abby. Um, but Phasmophobia on Thursday, which I'm really fucking excited for. Um, we love, we love Blue, we love Abby. Um, all right, let's find, let's find someone to run out to, shall we? Uh, I want Comfy Cozy. Comfy co Cozy safe. Safe environment for y'all. Let's see. Another queer, perhaps. Another queer, perhaps. When I saw and I discovered my two favorites, I'm so excited. With them guts, we might perhaps play with some guts tomorrow night. <laughs> of course, Easy. Thank you for coming here. Thank y'all for hanging out. Hello, Gigi. How are you? Thank you, Cassidy. All right, let's find someone to read out to, shall we? I'm gonna refresh my list because I feel like I was not looking at that my list correctly. But I'm feeling comfy, cozy energy. And then I'm gonna make some food. I really need to go to the grocery store tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow. Well, actually, either tomorrow or the next day. I can go like one more day without going to the grocery store. <laughs> I, can, I can handle one more day, you know? Let's see. Thank you, Easy. I appreciate it. Ooh. Oh, there are some cuties online right now. There's some cuties. Oh my god, I have so many tabs up. 
Oh no, yikes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um hmm. I have so many options up. I need to narrow it down. Um before I read out, here are my socials. Um I posted a new Instagram post not too long ago. Check it out. Here are my YouTubes. Um here's my TikTok. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand followers on TikTok, so it'd be really cool if you followed me on TikTok oh, yeah. if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to hit a, f a thousand followers on TikTok so I can go live on TikTok. That'd be pretty cool, right? Um, and again, here's the Discord. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second! <gasps> Wait, I did not know this person's doing a subathon right now. Surely we have to raid into them. Surely we have to raid into them, right? Hold on. <gasps> Nettie! Nettie, thank you for the year! <laughs> Happy year! I adore you. I hope all is well with you. Thank you, my love one year that's just wild no way i love that for us i love that for us i love no it's okay no worries i'm glad you're doing well that makes me so happy thank you for the support my love okay i think i know who we be raiding into she goes by Jambo. She uses she, her pronouns. I love this human. And you, if you have never met her, you're going to thank me later. She's so funny. She's such like a, like a genuine human being. Like I, every time I'm in her stream, I literally just feel like I am like hanging out with her. Like I feel like I'm on a FaceTime call with her. Um, I usually lurk in her streams. Um, I usually lurk everywhere, but I <laughs> I usually lurk in her streams. But yeah, she is doing a subathon right now. So even if you can like hop in and like, you know, like host her, that'd be really cool to support her because she, she deserves it. She also recently uh, moved. She like moved houses. So definitely like at least like you know just hang out in there for a little bit and support and stuff i also fully forgot to put this up we we are we are ending <laughs> but yeah jamba's fucking awesome uh here's the raid messages raid two if you are subscribed to me please copy the first one with my frog emote and my fan emote um if you are not sub to me or if you just want to please copy the second one the second one is for everyone okay um yeah it oh be, but uh i'm trying to find my outro song um glad to meet you too shrug thank you for being here wow i cannot believe the stream is coming to a close it is honestly it has been such a beautiful stream and i sound like a record on repeat but i am very grateful for y'all uh to be able to have these types of conversations here I'm very proud of each of you. I love each of you very, very much. Literally such a good stream. Thank y'all for being here to contribute and to learn and to grow. Um, I love you immensely. I'm gonna be live again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see, I'll see you tomorrow. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> I love y'all. I'll see you in Jam, Jam I'll see y'all in Jambo's chat. Okay, good night. <laughs>
this is a normal song <laughs> okay anyways let's run it back let me bring up the second option that i had <laughs> Let me bring up the second option that I had. Let me make sure they're still... Oh, my God. They are still online. Okay. <laughs> Let the song change. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, <laughs> We are going to raid into Trino. Trina. That also goes by Trino. Um, I believe she uses she, they pronouns. Let me check. She, they pronouns over there. She's playing Dead by Daylight. Um, Honestly, they're super fucking rad. They're super fucking rad. Um, literally such a chill vibe over there. Really funny. Does some cool shit over there. Um, does spooky shit every now and then. Um, but yeah, I I love Trina. So please, please give her all the love as well. Okay. Now we, wow. The first time you're hearing the raid message, to, or not the raid message, the raid song tonight. Did, isn't this a good raid out song that you're hearing for the first time tonight? Isn't that so great? But yeah, give give uh, Trina all the love. Again, she's playing Dead by Daylight. She, they pronouns over there. I love you. Good night.